It's the Bob and Tom Show. Every day I give thanks to God. I was born a man instead of a broad. When Oprah comes on, I turn off the TV. I don't shave my legs. I stand up to pee. I go to a barber, not a beauty salon. Don't pluck out my eyebrows just to draw them back on. Don't wax my pubes so I can wear shorts. I use my turn signal. I understand sports. Man, I'm glad I'm a man, man. Tell you the reason I am. I don't go through a phase every 28 days. Man, I'm glad I'm a man. Cash at the grocery, no checks or coupons. Don't take along a friend when I go to the john. I don't throw a fit when I break a nail. I don't buy a lot of shoes just because they're on sale. I don't apply makeup in my rearview mirror. I don't think of Bambi when I'm out hunting deer. I drink beer from a bottle and not from a glass. I don't ask my friends about the size of my ass. Man, I'm glad I'm a man. Tell you the reason I am. I don't face the pain of water weight gain. Man, I'm glad I'm a man. Let me tell you, ladies, listen to me, ladies. I love those things inside of your blouse. I love your pretty faces, your warm and soft embraces. But if I had my own two boobs, I'd never leave the house. hours getting ready for a date i don't play with dolls unless they inflate when someone asks my age i never lie after sex in bed my spots always dry i don't read about orgasms in vogue magazines i don't mind if my dates try to get in my jeans i don't spend a fortune on french lingerie this is the same underwear i wore yesterday man I am. I don't take a pill. I don't use mass and gill. Man, I'm glad I'm a man. Man, I'm glad I'm a man. Man, tell you the reason I am. I find Michael Bolton completely revolting. Man, I'm glad I'm a man. Ships at sea, Mr. and Mrs. North America. How are you? It's the Bob and Tom Show. Jess Hooker at the news desk. Hello. Just, wa just walked in. You're sprinted in here. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick McGee. There's... You okay, Pat? Yeah. Okay. Hey, look, uh, you look better. Thank you. I didn't get a good look at you yesterday, but I heard you were under the weather. Yeah, I was achy. Achy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, Your bones boy. ache. Dem Aches. Dem I bones ache. It. There's Josh Arnold. Did I say hello? No, hi, man. Hi. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. The joke of the day is coming up. We got a couple of emails about it. Uh, I'm Chick, and here's Tom. Emails about the joke of the day. Yeah, and Tom, we got some uh, special guests coming up, right? Uh, that's correct. Yeah. Um, we're going to talk with uh, Drew Powell. That's right. Distinguished actor. I think he's going to be, as we uh, bring back uh, one of our most uh, well-loved features, uh, Chick Chat's coming back. Chick Chat. <laughs> How does that work again? I think so. Uh, we just talk to people about uh, the various thoughts and feelings, because if you don't put in your two cents... How can you expect change? Um, that's right. Okay, yeah, that's <laughs> good exactly to know. right. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> uh, that's very helpful. Yeah, uh, I like it. Drew is currently featured on uh, a couple different things. He's got a couple movies coming out. He's uh, he's from out there at Hollyweird, and um, <laughs> he's on Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yes, he is. All uh, right, now so uh, we'll talk to Drew. See what's going on with him. Willie G calling from Vegas this morning. Once again, the Super Bowl preparation. Uh, 
up and running. Uh, kind of running out of steam, but <laughs> the game will eventually arrive. It really is running out, of, even for me. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. we're, we're, all, we're all set. Yeah. <laughs> any, any day now. Got, this, gotcha. In about time, somebody, are you ready to rock? Okay. Y yeah. And, yeah, uh, we are. We're going to do two, two hours about <laughs> haircuts at the Super Bowl. Okay, okay. enough. For God's sake. Do you remember uh, a couple days ago we had uh, the reporter asking Brock Purdy, the quarterback of the San Francisco 49ers. If he knew he looked like Lee Harvey Oswald. If he knew, in fact, on viral that he looked like Lee Harvey Oswald. Well, apparently there is a doppelganger, if you will, of Brock Purdy. Uh, and her name is Anna Fry. And it's amazing how much they both look alike. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it when, it when we come back. Wow. She's right, a tennis we... phenom, and she uh, went on a TikTok video, as you might imagine, and immediately now, gained a million followers. In the, the doppelganger category, you have pointed out uh, quite often a certain quarterback resembles a certain actress. Uh, Trevor Lawrence looks like... Um, uh, uh, what's Laura it? Dern. Is Laura, Laura Dern, Dern? Yeah. yes. Laura Dern. Absolutely, Laura okay. Dern. There's uh, a whole social media page that's committed to that and shows all of these men that look like women and their just faces look exactly alike. It's so weird. Now, yesterday, with your new hairdo mm -hmm. and without the glasses, which I noticed you're wearing today, yeah, um, I believe, was it Josh, said you look kind of like Linda Ronstadt. Yeah, the, that, was, that the, was the haircut I was going for. In, so. the, in the Cub Scout uniform era. Oh, okay. look. That was a good look. <laughs> that, was, that was an excellent look. <laughs> that was what Linda really, oh, geez, Linda, could really was. Linda could really <laughs> belt them in those days. Um, uh, Pat, glad to see you back. Um, oh, thanks. I uh, wanted to do a couple a couple stories you missed mm. yesterday. Uh, some important stuff, actually. Um, and uh, one of them, well, I don't know. I don't understand these. Uh, we've had a whole bunch of them. It's like... You know, whatever it is, name, uh, what is it? Name a rat after your ex. Oh yeah. We've had about five of them. This is this one involves a company called um, Scrap Car Comparison, and they will d d paint the name of your ex on a car, then crush it. Um, I've never heard of the crushing. I've heard of a car and like uh, these uh, primarily football rivalries where. People took a hammer to, to them. Yeah. yeah, they write the opposing team. I was trying there. to remember, in what movie did they... I was going to say, is your ex in in the car when they crush it? And I, <laughs> wasn't there a movie? And I think it was Goldfinger. Someone pointed this out to me. Oh. They crush a car with remember a Remember Goldfinger? There? There's someone in the car, and they crush it, and then they... And then they, I don't. And then the big magnet comes down and puts it in the back of the... I definitely Cause, remember cause it. Because the, the car has gold in, in a it. bond, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah I, I think it was Goldfinger. I don't remember mm, okay. Goldfinger. Um, like I should. Yeah, uh, and then there's there's one in which they turn, you take your old love letters sent to this place and they turn them into toilet paper. Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay, that one makes me laugh, so maybe that's the one I like the best. I uh, but I, I think just let it go. But Josh had the best line about that. If if because it wasn't the company name something like get the crap out of you. Some Who really, gives the so, crap? Yeah, it was pretty lame. But you had the idea of naming it. Uh, Wipe right. Yes, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Which is very appropriate in the world of dating. But, Pat, the one I wanted you to see was, and I'll ask, uh, do you carry a wallet? I do, yeah. A Toomey. Uh, every year I get the same one. You get a new one every year? Yep. Well, that's nice. You get a new one. Wow. What do you well, mean? I do so much commerce out there, I wear it out. <laughs> All right. Is that right? Okay. Dollar here, dollar there. Right. Yeah. Uh, what's hey, when you got it, you spend it, baby. You, you know the know name that. of the wallet you carry? Sure I do. It's Toomey. I've had the same really... one since 91. Well, wow. No one's surprised, Ace. <laughs> do the moths fly out when you open them? <laughs> um, Gen Z. Who was the comedian who kept talcum powder? He kept a wallet loaded. Yeah. So when he went to lunch... Oh yeah, we they'd go around and and, and okay the check, and he'd go, "I'm a little short," and <laughs> blow into it. And their talk about it. Blair has everywhere. Greg Warren's buddy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was about a friend of Greg Warren's. I forget yes. the guy's name. Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a little short, fellas. <laughs> Whoosh! <Yeah>, that's fantastic. <laughs> so well, funny. The gag pays his check. I, so I get that. Yeah, right. Um, according to this Gen Z, and I get these so mixed up. Gen Z is, um, I think, born after '97 or something like that. Um, Gen Z says if you carry a wallet, it means you're old. According to Amazon Web Services, 80% of Gen Z consumers use digital wallets. Now, I, I use a digital wallet most of the time. Mm -hmm. But yeah. there are problems with that. Uh, you cannot, in, I think, 
40, no, wait a minute, in 39 states, you cannot have your driver's license just on your phone. You have to have a physical driver's license, technically. Uh, there, there are a handful of states where you're allowed to have it on your uh, phone. Um, yet they, uh, the the state that we're in, they don't allow the driver's license on your digital wallet, but they uh, allow the insurance card yes. in your digital wallet. That's true. Well, yeah. That I, don't make no sense. Yeah, I, yeah it'll, it'll take forever to... They can't get anything done anyway. Um, the uh, other option, the problem is a lot of places don't take uh, digital pay. There are places where you can't just hold your phone up and click the thing. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I was just at a place the other day, and they had a big sign on the little pasted to the what do you iPad saying, sorry, out of order. You have to, so we had to, but in, in any event, um, th that's a marker, I guess, if you're using a wallet. You're an old man or an old lady. I heard the other day that if you wear socks, you're old. Well, Kids don't just, wear socks. I heard that too. Yeah, well, socks are out, man. Oske and uh, Jimmy does, said. Jimmy, does, yeah, yeah. my son doesn't wear them. Yeah. yeah, they refuse to wear socks, no matter what season it is. I remember the Griswold babies. I, uh, they they did not wear socks when they were uh, Willie and Sam. All of I, them. I didn't wear socks for years. This trend comes and goes. Yeah. 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 Ruin a couple shoes. Yeah. Start wearing yeah. socks. All of a sudden, your top siders start <laughs> <laughs> smelling like a horse's hey, ass. Hey, Jim. <laughs> All of a sudden, your top shot. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Have you ever been there, Josh? <laughs> top cider. Yeah, oh, some, Travis. I had some really, I had some, boat I had some really funky top ciders there for a while. Uh, Dorothy, are those your top ciders? Um, well, it must be your feet then. <laughs> uh, smells uh, like a commoner. Now, Pat, uh, 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 do you have a, a song that relates to uh, being an old man carrying a wallet? Well, if I have a wallet, that means I'm a boomer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Baby boomer. Cause this year I'll be 63 I used to dial a rotary phone I read a road map to get where I'm going I have a wallet, a watch, and a wedding ring I don't mumble or rap when I sing I'm a boomer I saw Oswald shot on my TV, baby boomer my pronoun is, oh, poor me. <laughs> <laughs> I took a cab, not an Uber, my friend. Didn't need an app to get a new girlfriend. <laughs> I played outside, not with video games. We built a bonfire and sang round the flames. I'm a boomer. I looked up things in libraries, baby boomer. I had to rent pornography. I think it's time for a nap now, my friend. <laughs> nice. Thank a you. nice Beatles tribute. Very appropriate today, Pat. Yeah, today's the day, right? This day, 64. The Fab Four appear on the Ed Sullivan Show. Oh, wow. For the first time. What Beatles song was that parodying? I'm, I'm a, a loser. loser. Oh. You don't deep, know that tune? I deep, do not know that one. Oh, I love cut. that song. Thank you, Pat. Yeah, is, that a, is that a deep cut? It has to be a deep cut. I... Did I send you guys that video where Jack White can name all the Beatles songs within half a yeah. second, it seems like? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's That's nuts. Right. Yeah, I'm a loser. It's a great song. Hmm. And I'm not what I appear to be. Uh, oh, thank you very give much, it a Patty. Do, uh, you, Patty do, G. You, do you plainly remember? I'm sorry, but you remember them being on Ed yes. Sullivan? You do. Okay. I do, too, yeah. I do not remember it. And I, I'm not sure if it was, was it the 60, first one, Pat? 64, right? Um, I don't know if it was the, because they were on three times in a row, once from Miami uh, t uh, and then uh, twice in New York. But um, Were they on Jack Parr's show? Yeah, they, they were. were. They were on Jack Parr's show, but that was that was a, a recording of them recording, in England. Yeah. And uh, uh, Ed Sullivan was furious because ah. he scooped them. Ed had been at the air, stuck at the airport in London for a couple hours because the then unheard of in the USA Beatles fans had closed the airport. Oh. They were so they were but um I think it might have been the first time where they they they, they, they panned the band and would say Ringo John's uh, and when yeah, it got to John status. it said sorry girls he's married. First time yeah. Oh you guys want to hear about something interesting? Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, I'd okay. love to tell you all about my new friends at Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese and Sausage. Hey! Artisan meats, quality cheese, the freshest curds you've ever tasted. Their famous squeaky curds are made fresh in the morning and most often delivered to your doorstep in about 48 hours nationwide. And sorry, ladies, Mr. Gardner is married. Uh -huh. New flavor alert. Gardner's has just released their limited edition blazing Cajun-flavored cheese curds. 
celebrate Mardi Gras with spicy flavors of red and black peppers and the savory aromatics of garlic and paprika. Man, these sound great. These blazing Cajun cheese curds, only available until February 13th. That's Fat Tuesday. Fatty, fat, 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 fat Tuesday. Do not miss out on this. You have to try Gardner's Oven Baked Cheese if you haven't. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Warning, you will become addicted. You can even microwave it. Delicious flavors from ba bacon oven baked cheese to their newest jalapeno spicy ooey gooey cheese. Ace, why don't you and I share a plate of that sometime? Yeah. If you want to try a little bit of everything, there is a way to do that. Chick, I see you wondering how. Oh, no, I'm wondering how to do that. The Bob and Tom Sampler, my friend. Oh! Uh, yes, Tommy, it's the Bob and Tom Sampler package. It's the perfect introduction to all of Gardner's most beloved products. This includes eight-year-old super sharp cheddar, which is just so great, teriyaki meat sticks, garlic summer sausage, and more. Go to gardnerswisconsincheese.com slash Bob and Tom. And when you order today and spend $59 or more, you'll receive free bacon oven baked cheese, free cheese curds, and free cold pack shipping at gardnerswisconsincheese.com slash Bob and Tom. I think you're really going to enjoy what they have. It's just terrific. That's gardnerswisconsincheese.com slash Bob and Tom. And uh, keeping with our theme, don't be a loser. <laughs> uh, there you go. <laughs> Thank you very much for the tie-in, Josh. Uh, coming up, we have uh, Selling Your Pants Online. Uh, we have a place called the uh, Licking Hole Brewery. Oh, yeah? Uh, we'll find out about that. Uh, and uh, an update on the lady with the uh, OnlyFans thing on her car. Uh, and uh, skiers. Moose! Moose is if you're, loose. If you're a skier like me, watch out for moose. <laughs> uh, moose are scary, and they're also barely running down the hill. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. That's so nice. We got another song for you, baby. Oh, well, we'd love to hear one more. What have you got for us? Baby, you know this one. It's my song about your bridges.
Here come the mummies, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Added special oh. effects at the end. Oh, thank you yes. so much, fellas. That was just beautiful. Oh. Baby, thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell's that for? <laughs> Bob and Tom. For your information, these are two of the worst kids I have ever encountered in my life. And I worked the state fair. We were stupid before stupid was cool. It's time once again for people who suck at small talk. Hey, I uh, catch the big game last night? <laughs> uh, uh, well, what truly is a game when you really think about it? I mean, it's merely a struggle for conquest between competing rivals in a match to attain victory so they can feel superior about a relatively inconsequential endeavor. <laughs> Jeez, sorry I f***ing asked. <laughs> Join us again next time for People Who Suck at Small Talk. I got thrown out of J.C. Penny the other day. Really? Yeah, fondling up the mannequins. <laughs> you believe that? And that ain't my fault. Have you seen the mannequins in there? Uh -huh. And they taunt you, too. They got the little short skirt on, arm up, kind of waving you over. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Shoot. I tell you what, if you ask me, the little whore was asking for it. Nick Griffin is our guest. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that it... Uh... I'm glad everything's okay yeah. now. Yeah. Now, are you dating at all? Do you see anyone? Are you? No, I don't. I don't. Uh, I mean, I, I tried. You know, they're doing that internet dating, which. Uh, have you tried that? I have tried it. Yeah, but but it, I just don't. I don't see a future in it because there's no story if you do get married with your kids. You know, I was checking the box score and then I double clicked on your mom's head. <laughs> <laughs> Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. This Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. I don't know if uh, anybody's heard anything about this, but... Uh, Super Bowl's coming up Sunday. And last night uh, was the NFL Honors, where the season-ending awards were handed out uh, as the NFL congratulated itself. The NFL, yes, oh. that's exactly right. So they had a big old time there in, in Vegas. Vegas, baby, Vegas. What's your game when you go to Vegas, Tom? Do you have a... Oh, I know what you like to you like to play roulette, but if you will, off site is what he likes to do. Am, no, I, am I right really? on this? Well, no, I don't. Really the closest do he gets to the roulette wheel is like five to ten feet away, and then he'll he, he he's like Polly in Goodfellas. He doesn't want anybody to see him make a bet. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh no, kidding! No, yeah, we would make bets. We when we were on the air, we would send someone down. Okay. We'd do a collection, get a bunch of cash. That makes and sense. Go play. And it, we were very in, lucky. In person, he in real does life. that. Yeah, we, okay. we won a lot. That's the most that I went to that art museum. <laughs> I went to the dam. Yeah. Just did some sightseeing. Yeah. Yeah. The first time we were in Vegas, do you remember this? We were there for a week. We got there on a Saturday and that's didn't leave until the following Sunday. Yeah, that's long, man. That's, that's too long to be That's a lot of Vegas. Let yeah. alone Vegas. I'm trying to remember the hotel. Yeah, you I, start I, feeling like you don't live in the, the real the I, real world. I, I want to say we really stayed is. at the Riviera. That sounds, that sounds, uh, wasn't I, it across from Slots of Fun? Thing. It was the Slots of Fun. It was, mm -hmm. it was near Slots of Fun. And oh, Circus near. Circus, and the world's prettiest McDonald's with the neon and the lights. And, yeah, <laughs> oh, man, I gotta get was, back. I love it. A lot of changes since then. Um, now, uh, uh, coming up on the show today, we're going to talk with Willie G in Vegas. We'll see if uh, if it swallowed him yet. Uh, also, oh, hey. uh, our, our failure to mention newscast coming up. Drew Powell, actor, is going to be visiting us today. Um, you were talking about uh, this uh, Generation Z saying if you carry a wallet, you're too old. And, and again, there are problems with that. I mean, if you have a lot of responsibility, you may need a wallet. There are certain cards you have to have to do adult things. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not, but uh, I'm not worried about <laughs> that, that opinion at all. I, I saw a cartoon. It was uh, a couple of boomers watching the Grammys. And right. the caption was, who, who, oh. who, who, Joni, who, 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 <laughs> Joni, who? that's funny. <laughs> Joni. <laughs> so you see there's a lot of new artists. Okay. Uh, uh, but we, we, was now, Joni Mitchell 
there? Yeah, she, yeah, she, she won. Sang. She sang. And she sang. She won. She won. Oh, folk album. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And she sang. And, uh, oh, no. she uh, put out that new album, uh, Music Only Dogs Can Hear. Remember that? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> oh, She's oh, California! Oh, 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 genius. <laughs> uh, Our parking lot! Tracy Chapman did that great duet. Could we? Uh, is there anything of interest in sports? Well, of course, Tom. It's the Super Bowl. Viva Las Vegas. What the heck is wrong with you? Lamar Jackson, at last night they call it the NFL Honors. And Lamar Jackson, a near unanimous choice for his second AP NFL Most Valuable Player Award. They didn't watch that last game he was in, huh? Mm. I did not the say The votes that. had already been Tom, tallied. It, this is, they stress, uh, this is based on the regular season. They sure. always do that, yes. You know that, Tom. <laughs> they, don't, they don't let the last... Uh, expected loss by this reporter come creeping in <laughs> to his NFL. You did call that. I sure did. I, he, it's, it's a thing until it's not a thing. Seems Lamar Jackson can't win in the playoffs. It's a thing. He shouldn't be. Then he's not the most valuable player. Christian McCaffrey. In the regular season, he may have been. Well, a lot of people, uh, there were grumblings. To me, the regular oh, season were... ends when the season ends. Do no, you have no. any audio of the grumblings? Yeah, uh, I think you, you have it oh, over here, there, don't you, Jack? There it is. Okay. Oh, right. 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 Hear this? The grumblings. Uh, uh, Christian McCaffrey should have uh, won the MVP, uh, but he won the uh, Offensive Player of the Year award. The grumble. He just smelled bad. Offensive, is that what you're saying? Offensive. Oh, that's very right. <laughs> maybe, he'll, maybe he'll do a deodorant commercial. <laughs> is right guard still out there? Um, when you were coming up, was was it right guard the go-to deodorant? Yes, we all had right guard in the locker room. It was hilarious. It was the axe of its day. Oh. I remember that's part of team building where you raise your arm and have your teammates spray your pit for with with deodorant. <laughs> that's a part of team building. You don't want to know the part about crew X. <laughs> Rub it on, Johnny. <laughs> Rub it Is that right. for jock itch or something? <laughs> Rub it yeah. on, Johnny. Sphere balls. Oh. <laughs> is Kru- you have somebody uh, moving out of the way like it's a nose on your face? Like, okay, okay, let's okay. get over there. Is Gruwex still out there? Um, yeah. Um, in fact, they're sponsoring the big tour this summer. What tour? Motley Gruwex. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. It's my understanding Tommy Lee's balls are just <laughs> heavily used, oh, oh <laughs> dangling now, <laughs> trying to support that huge Johnson. Was this like a masculine deodorant spray? Right, guard? No, but uh, Crew X, or was it for Crux? It was, it for was just for jockeys. It was yeah. jockeys. Oh, it's still out there. I'm sure. Although yeah, I, th- I don't know if it would treat like a yeast infection, or mm. I, I, th- I think it would. Can guys get yeast infections? Yes. I, yeah, they, they can. can. In their mouth. Yeah. Oh, like thrush. Yeah, but mm-hmm. you can get it down there too. Oh, yeah. you know, yeah. thrush was also. Uh, Yep. <laughs> Thrush were the bad guys. Yeah, Hell of a drummer. The man from Uncle. The man from Uncle. Because James Bond had Spectre. The man from Uncle had Thrush. Yes, that's so, so, so cool. So great. And then there were the monkeys, were kind of like the Beatles. Well, let's continue this baby, baby boomer thing. Uh, Do you I, remember what Thrush stood for? I know that Man from Uncle was the United Network for Law Enforcement or something. Uh, the United Network of International. Yeah. What was Thrush? The theological, the technological hierarchy for the removal of undesirables and the subjugation of humanity. Man, that's, a, that's their force in that. That's Translation, funny. they really wanted to call it thrust. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, they did. Yeah, I love it when they really force those things. <laughs> okay. I've got an unusual request here. I, I want to hear it. Uh, this is going out to Mr. D. Um, uh, and I, I won't give you any more information. This is... Um, <laughs> Big Daddy? Uh, this is a, a, a kind of a classic bit from uh, Ross Bennett. Watch this. Is he a dad? Is he a father? This guy we're dedicating this to? Um, I can't say. Has he been on the? Uh, has it been on our show? No, he has not. It's a request from a listener. Is he very very rich? No. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just I'm not saying his name for reasons that are. Uh, um, not obvious to you, but obviously when I said I wasn't <laughs> going to say his name. Is it David? Uh, I'll tell you off the air, and then you'll go, oh, God, thank you for not doing that on the air. Is it David? It is not David. It's <laughs> okay. Mr. D. So it could be oh. Don. Oh, David, could be, could David's be son, then. It could be, <laughs> could be, but it isn't. Okay. It's not dick breath either. But here it is. Uh, okay, this is, uh, this is Ross dick. Bennett. Listen listen carefully. <laughs> My first wife, she died at, uh, when we were both 30. Oh, I was just turned 31. She was 30. Uh-huh. And she had, she had cancer. It was a horrible thing. And, um, and, what, and, and then I got married again. Uh-huh. And, I, and what I got out of the whole thing was one joke. One stupid little joke. 
uh, that my first wife died and my second wife wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see. I will, I will argue in front of the joke court that that is the greatest marriage joke of all time. No, the greatest one, I think, is an old Catskills joke where the guy is uh, uh, on his knees in front of a tombstone and he's screaming, why did you die? Why did you die? And a man comes up and says, your wife, huh? And he goes, no, it's actually my wife's first husband. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that's a great joke. <laughs> they're both uh, just, they're there both beautiful. And what, <laughs> what I have found. Who would have thought the death could be so fun? The older I get, the more I realize that people love jokes about couples that don't get along. I mean, it's, that's, that's like the basis of my act these days. There's this, uh, um, there's this, have you heard the one about the funeral? The guy's burying his wife of 48 years and in the church, as the pallbearers are carrying her out, they bump her into the doorway. To bump the casket into the doorway, and, and all of a sudden it starts rustling inside the casket. <laughs> and she w comes and she lives for five more years. She was asleep, she wasn't dead, she was deeply asleep. Five years later, she dies. They're at the same church, they're giving the same funeral. On the way out, the husband yells to the pallbearer, Look out for the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little bit of uh, Ross Bennett by special request going out to Mr. D. Thank you very much for taking the time and trouble to write us. Hope you're doing well. That's pretty good. Um, now, um, where were we? Are the NFL honors, I think honors, you were Tom? talking about the, oh, well, yeah, that's exciting. Uh, Lamar Jackson, MVP, <laughs> Christian McCaffrey, Offensive Player of the Year. Miles Garrett beat out T.J. Watt for the Defensive Player of the Year. C.J. Stroud won the AP. Roy, you know what the Roy is? Rookie of the Year, Roy. They call it the Roy. Mm, that's nice. And then That, uh, that makes sense. <laughs> it, much better than Thrush. Or the technological uh, or the United. mop, the mop, the most outstanding player. You don't are like they that. doing that anymore? I prefer. Uh, they didn't for the last yeah, time. I prefer mm. yeah, most valuable MVP is a standard. Will Anderson Jr. won the uh, rookie of the year. I mean, mop, defensive rookie. Mop of the year. is offensive because you th you're thinking about you know about what. Well, if the term mop, thinking, most, what is it? Most most women mop. Is that what you want to say? No, no, no. I mean, mop. You think of the of the tool, the mop. Yeah. Whereas MVP means most valuable player. Everybody knows yeah. that. It's one of these things. They, have, they don't have to change it. I need a good mop. <laughs> have you ever gotten a mop and you're just moving the dirt around? You feel like you're just moving yeah. the dirt around and then it's dirty water and then you got... I found a fair amount of success with the Swift or Wet Jet. Is that right? Yeah. Those huh. do work. Yeah, whatever I have, every time I go to get one of those new heads for it, I just end up throwing it away and going and buying the whole thing with a stick. Mm -hmm. Those things you can't put them back on. They fall off. Been, you know yeah. what we should do? Me, you, Josh, Ace, Pat, all of it. Trip to Menards? Nope. My hardware? We should, go to, we should go to Vegas and get new head. What do you think? Get what? New head? New head in Vegas. What's that? You know, a new head, you know. Serviced, <laughs> you know. Are you, are you out of your mind? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Could you just keep reading whatever the crap that is about? <laughs> Oral satisfaction. Just keep oh. reading about whatever dumb, dumb thing that they did I? in Vegas last night. Will Anderson, defense player. Are you going to read them all? <laughs> <laughs> now you better. You just yeah, to show them. Yeah. <laughs> the Browns, Tom. Yes. Uh, Joe Flacco <laughs> won the Comeback Player of the Year award. Now keep in mind, this is the year that Demar Hamlin died on the field, and he did not get Player of the Year award. It was Joe Flacco. because he barely played that year. <laughs> that, he didn't come back. <laughs> is Joe, right. Joe going to be coming That's back? Exactly right. Are they gonna... I don't think so. That was it for him? Do they have like a most heart? Like the, the guy who just wasn't very good, but man, he gave it his all. Yeah. Oh, like the Rudy or the... <laughs> right, right. Mm. Do, they have the, do they have the best player to come off the practice squad? That'd be a cool award. Kevin Stefanski, Coach of the Year. He's Stefanski. And I didn't he know this. He knows. They have Assistant Coach of the Year. I didn't even know this. That's it right. was Jim Schwartz. You ever yeah. call your uh, hang down a Schwartz? You know? Oh, like in Spaceballs. Yeah, yeah. yeah Schwartz. Mm -hmm. I see your Schwartz no. is as big yeah. as mine. Yes. No, is that a thing or is it just... Yeah, it's a joke from Spaceballs. I mean, did he make that up? I've never heard that. Uh, well, it was Schwann's. You know, I, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe how we could get change. Mel Brooks in here to do a podcast. I, <laughs> why would I know the answer to that? Because you're so obsessed. <laughs> I'm so obsessed. Schwartz like. What's Yiddish for uh, a hang down? Do Schwann's. 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 Yeah. You want to yeah. you you bet your life on th that? Th there are several slang terms. <laughs> pud, pud go Schwann's. Go to the Catskills. Schmuck. I've heard uh, Pud. Mm -hmm. Pull on your pod. All right. Dinkus. Okay, could we? Dinkus sounds Yiddish. Maybe get back to your head thing. New Dinkus. <laughs>
Richard Johnson. We could, we could go through, there's quite a few. We could go through all Decker of them. Is solid I'd, I'd rather go through, go through these than every award given by the NFL last night. Uh, more and now, in case the poontang and the money wasn't enough, here's a trophy. <laughs> oh, and coming up later this morning, mm. don't, uh, please don't miss it. It's the return of Chick Chat. Oh, how nice. We found our music and everything. I love this. I am your host, Chick, and we will be having a chat with Hollywood star Drew Powell. <laughs> All right. And if, nice. if you have a question, please let us know about it. Because if you don't put in your two cents, how can you expect change? <laughs> then he's absolutely right, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly right. <laughs> okay, thank you. Words to live by. Words to live <laughs> Extraordinarily <by>. helpful. <laughs> um, now, <laughs> I hope you were listening to that theme music with your uh, Raycon earbuds. Oh, in, yeah. Uh, or your full Raycon headphones. Oh, those are so nice. Tell me more, Chick McGee. Valentine's Day is uh, bearing down on us like a giant tractor trailer. That's right. That's where Raycons come waltzing in and saving the day. You know, Raycons have the optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, I say, and I think it's true. They fit every ear ever made. Raycons are here for a good time and a long time, like any good love story. Eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life, and most importantly... You get amazing quality audio at around half the price. And uh, speaking of Valentine's Day, we receive many, many love letters uh, all the time from Bob and Tom listeners about how much they love their Raycons. And now you can, too, buy a pair for your significant other and get a pair for yourself. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom and get 15% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Score 15% off and free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Coming up, a rather unusual story about um, Mount Everest and some new rules if you're planning on climbing Mount Everest. Uh, and if you're planning on listening to a certain radio station in Alabama, you're going to have a problem. Someone stole the radio tower. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have just in time for Valentine's Day, oozing black eggs. I'll tell you what that's ah. all about. Uh, we got a world record coming up. Got a moose chasing skiers in Wyoming. <laughs> uh, and uh, selling your pants online. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll free at 1-888-BOB-TOM-1. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Now Rodney's uh, uh, got a record out there on Capitol Records. Yes. Can't miss it. It's called Morning Wood. Morning We're Wood just kind of sticking with the theme. It's hanging with Rodney, Morning Wood, and then Nutsack. Just kind of <laughs> working our way down the, the trilogy. It dawned on me this morning how, what, you know. Yep. I've made a living for 12, 13 years talking about everything underneath my belt. Yep. Mm -hmm. And, uh, hey, what the hell? <laughs> I'm glad you said hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I apologize. Uh, that's all right. Uh, well, uh, Rodney, we got uh, we got plenty of time. Do you want to work another one in here? Uh, yeah, here's one right here. This one's called, uh, well, I think, you guys, is that the one we're talking about? Okay. You guys want to play the intro? I don't want to. They get a little irritated when I <laughs> don't let them play the intro. They don't really like the way I do it. Let's yeah. just go right to the words. Uh, go ahead. When I was just a boy going places with my mom and dad. Again, Sunday, I'm going with <laughs> Kansas City. I'm uh, Kansas City, wait and see. And if the 49ers win, I bet Taylor Swift starts dating Brock Purdy. Oh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Put all my money on it. All, all, right. all your money. <laughs> oh, 47. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, everybody, this is Todd Snyder, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 
Attention, Fergler shoppers. You need hardware, you need Fergler. That's right, Fergler's Hardware Store. Fergler's dares you to beat their prices on anything in the store. That's right, Crazy Ernie's lost his mind and everything must go. Ladders, lumber, nails, <laughs> including the kitchen sink. Fergler's Hardware Store, where you make out like a burglar when you shop at Fergler's. Free popcorn Mondays, free coffee Fridays, free parking. It's cr crazy Ernie's going out of business sale. Everything must be Fergler's Hardware Store. If Fergler's doesn't have it, you don't fergin' need it. Hi, I'm Ernie Fergler. We he's Ernie Fergler. <laughs> if you don't come buy some stuff today, he'll kick your ass. Be there. Bob and Tom, 24-7. When grandfather dies, life will be strange. When grandfather dies, my whole world will change. When grandfather dies, I'll scream and I'll yell. Cause I'll be rich as hell. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I figured That's I didn't need to write anymore. Yesterday we were talking about hickeys. Yeah. I have a it, story oh, for you. you Which one of your daughters has one? No, nobody has hickeys, but we have death by hickey. Death by hickey? Mm -hmm. Were that me, I'm sure the officers would stand over my body and say, I have a feeling this is how he'd wanted to go. <laughs> More chalk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I'm so oh gigantic. Oh, my God. One Here's stick one of, of chalk things I've ever would done. never <laughs> be a We had to use a whole box of chalk to outline his... Look at him. Uh, he had to take his headphones off, <laughs> lean back, and just, he's yeah. screaming with laughter. He's, he's just an awful person. <laughs> More chalk. <laughs> Lucky numbers. Man, if that weren't funny, I'd be <laughs> so mad. Uh, we're speaking with comedian Jim Gaffigan. What else is... Uh, your love. What's it, what are you into? Do you have hobbies? I, I, do you, are you, my, do you my, have, like weird food? I am a vegetarian though. You really? are? Yeah. Well, I'm not a strict vegetarian. I eat beef and pork. <laughs> and chicken. chicken. But not fish, because that's disgusting. I'm fish, with yeah. you. Oh, How yeah. can you tell when fish goes bad? It smells like fish either way. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're still serving fish with the heads on there. What are we, barbarians? I always feel like the eyes looking at me like, you don't mind if I watch while you eat my body, do you? <laughs> don't be distracted. A little tear comes out. Oh. Uh -huh. Sad salmon. Oh, yeah. Sad I love salmon. when vegetarians, they, they always try and impress you. They're like, I haven't had meat in five years. I haven't had a banana in a month. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Bobcat Goldthwait. You You're listening. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Uh, Valentine's Day coming up. The perfect time to have the world's most important football game on. <laughs> you think more people are celebrating this weekend, Valentine's Day, or the next weekend? Um, Maybe next because of next, the Super Bowl. Yeah. Because of the Super Bowl. And, yeah, I think so. This is a weird year because, um, what is it, next Tuesday is Fat Tuesday. Yeah. Easter is super early. Hmm. And do you know how they determine when Easter is? It's very, really complicated. Something about Jesus. He rises. No, it's about the, <laughs> what is it, the, the Pascal moon? I don't know. Oh, the celery. Oh, really? The yeah. Cel the celery moon, yeah. No, I'm, not, I'm totally serious. <laughs> That's oh, Easter's really please, early please. this year. Yeah, it is early. I didn't know that. There's like a, uh, um, I forget the span that it can be, but yeah, it's c coming really early this year. So. Huh. Don't they have to consult the bones before they can designate Easter? Yeah, that's it. That. They consult the bones. Okay, if a lightning hits the building, <laughs> is it going to get me over here? I, I, I think you're consult uh, in, the bones. in the clear. How about that? Okay, Um. now we have Chick McGee at the Bob and Tom Sports Desk. Have we... Uh, um, talked out everything about the Super Bowl. I think what I'd like to do right now, before we get to the Ace Cosby joke of the day, which is coming momentarily, yes. Could you would you mind reviewing your Super Bowl pick for us? Certainly not. Uh, I have. I'm being incredibly uh, uh, exact on my Super Bowl pick. I say it's going to go overtime. I say the Kansas City Chiefs win with a late touchdown in overtime, 36-30. And Patrick Mahomes will be named MVP. Write all that down. Whoa, that's an addition. Today. Yeah, and, and you're and you're taking the over. And air go no, I'm not. I'm not officially taking the over, but well, by uh, definition, if you say it's going to be thirty six thirty, 
That's I, I guess, but the over under is forty seven. They're therefore sixty I'm sorry, sixty well, six is larger than forty seven. I'm you sorry. Tool. What am I doing? You're exactly right, Tom. <laughs> I'm taking the over. And uh, I'll, talk, I'll, I'll so get an independent go. uh, Pat, Pat Godwin. <clears throat> yes, sir. Which is bigger? Which number? Sixty seven or thirty? Let me think. I drop the two. Uh, six, yeah, the, <laughs> the sixty one. I want to know is it, where you got the 63. That's what I want to know. It rhymed. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. Uh, 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 so there you go on the Super Bowl. Also, are, and are you going to uh, make any sort of uh, extra preparation at all? Like order a sandwich or uh, um, uh, uh, the kids are going to color a My seven-year-old daughter and I are working on this um Shoebox thing with a leopard inside. No, that's a that's a total eclipse. That, uh, uh, no, no, no. This is, right, that, that, that's yeah. coming later this year. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'll be doing that while I'm watching the game. We but may, any snacks? We, uh, we may have some kids over. Actually, some of our friends. So we, oh, okay. we, now we're talking about a potential party. Ah. So we'll see. But it'd be a kids party. Nothing. Nothing too weird. <laughs> so we wouldn't be. <laughs> you know what? A kids party. <laughs> Would be too weird if it were at my house. Yeah. <laughs> that would, would be slightly or illegal. <laughs> yeah. Remember that time we went to see Storks? That yeah. cartoon, we walked in. Josh and I walk into a theater, and it's packed with kids. Uh-huh. And you can almost see, out of the corner of your eye, the parents pulling their children <laughs> close. <laughs> it was pretty... Uh, I think we laughed the loudest during that, too. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, Some Kelsey night. Grammer's great. Yeah, this doesn't happen anymore, but I can remember when I was a kid, one time, I could, I could tell you the, the play the name of the whole deal. They had a Three Stooges movie festival at a movie theater. Yeah. It was a Saturday, and it was just packed. It was so great. You know, they just don't have that anymore. No. Would it be good? Should, maybe, could we put together a Three Stooges night? Show I, a bunch of, in a, would you go? I... I, w I would. I wouldn't stay for the movies, but I, I could tell. <laughs> it's unbelievable. He could, he could just piss, I on, he could piss for, in anything. I don't care for the Three Stooges. We'd I'm show sorry. my favorite episode, the one where Curly's singing the opera. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's funny. The giant pie fight. Oh, come on. It's <laughs> joyful. All right, well, I promised a palate cleanser. How about Marx Brothers? How about that? Yeah, I'd be there yeah, that. yeah of course. I'm down for All that. Right. Yeah. Okay, that'd be fun. All right. A bunch of cartoons. Mm. So just some, we show the uh, show the uh, Bugs Bunny cartoon. Oh man, uh, you got you show the one where the the little boy is saying to Sylvester, "My father," <laughs> where he thinks that the kangaroo is a mouse. Okay, that's if that isn't the greatest cartoon ever made. Who thought okay. of that? The kangaroo looks like a big mouse. Oh, Who's so that? funny? We have kangaroos in the news on the loose, by the way. Again, a loose kangaroo. We'll tell you about that. It's in the U.S. of A. too. They but box, right now, they box you know instinctively. They they know how to box kangaroos. Wow. Punch yeah. you right in the face. Oh, yeah. That'd hurt. Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. the palate cleanser is now. Yeah. Hello. Ace Cosby, here he is with his joke of the day. Hey, Dick. Yes, Ace. Why are the spiders in Paris so overweight? <laughs> Why are the spiders in Paris so overweight? I don't know, Ace. Why? They only eat French flies. <laughs> That was Ace Cosby's joke of the day. <laughs> that noise, Josh. <laughs> I mean, French flies, you get it? Uh, French fries are fattening, you see. I, I do get it, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> That's what started the Ace Cosby joke of the day, the French fry, you know. And that oh. was, that was an amazing, yes. amazing joke. The joke of the day brought to you by Sleep Number. Save 50% during the President's Day sale on limited edition smart beds. Only at Sleep Number Store or SleepNumber.com. All right. Boom. Sleep because Number. Because people, people thought those first French fries were fried in France. Wait, wait a minute. So the first French fries Bonus. Weren't, fried, Bonus weren't, weren't fried in France? No, they were fried in Greece. <laughs> oh. I thought they were fried in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Refried. Right. Well, that, that really doesn't make sense, Josh. <laughs> no, but it gets my I point mean, I guess you have a hot ass, is that what you're saying? <laughs> is there anything funnier than Robert De Niro going, my ass? No. <laughs> yeah. okay. um, I'm sorry. Uh, we were at the sports page. Anything else of interest? Uh, we're uh, keeping an eye on Caitlin Clark. Of course, she is from Iowa. Uh, you know, she's... Um, Pretty good. Pretty, she's very good, yes. <laughs> yeah. She's approaching the NCAA career scoring record in women's basketball held by Kelsey Plum of 3,527 points. Clark just 39 points away from the record. The Hawkeye star has 34.89 and averaging 32.2 points a game this season. She's on pace to break. 
Plums, NCAA mark when Iowa plays Michigan uh, next week on February 15th. Then her next game, if somehow she misses it then, it'll be Nebraska at Nebraska on Sunday. Wow. And if you like, do you like to ski? Say I do if you like to ski. I do. Never done it. I'm afraid. Liked, I, I think I'd, I'd be a big lodge guy. I'd like the lodge. I'd go to the lodge. That and looks have cool. A, Sit a down hot, there by the fire. A hot toddy. What is in a hot toddy? Is it like syrupy or is it like uh, a booze and tea? It's like three yeah. parts toddy, yeah. whiskey and tea. Whiskey and Is honey? the toddy a specific drink or does it a hot toddy just mean some kind of hot alcoholic beverage? No, I, That's it's how just always specific. Yeah. Oh, it is. Is it specific? Tea, whiskey, and I think some honey. For your throat, really? For the Irish throat, yeah. Oh, I had no uh, idea. I'm gonna go with Godwin on this. Yeah, the authority. Any any kind of booze, any kind of day. The man's yeah. proud of his heritage, Jake. What, why? Is it uh, Dr. Pepper involved in uh, one of these warm alcoholic drinks? Is that there's a flaming Dr. Be. Pepper? Yeah. <laughs> And is there a drink called a flaming purple Jesus? Do you guys know yeah. about this drink? Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it really? Yeah. I went to school with him. Oh, oh my Is that gosh. right? <laughs> he was not Irish, was he? <laughs> <laughs> flaming purple Jesus. Really? And it's on and, and and you, it's the Sermon on the Mount. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, from Ace <laughs> Pat, you're right. It's hot water, whiskey, and honey. Maybe some lemon. You're welcome. I bet it does help with the sore throat. Yeah, that'll help. It can't hurt. Am I right, Pat? It's what we got for uh, teething when we were kids. Be honest with you. They put whiskey. Well, we'll be we'll be back with the ski. <laughs> Most of us will be. It's a ski story. Yeah. And, uh, did you Tom, find out what was in a flaming purple Jesus? Tom? I did. What is it? Yeah, oh. it's vodka and. There Vodka, you... lime juice, grenadine, and rum. So you set it on fire? Uh, yeah, Obviously. you do. Yep. Mm. How about that, Ace? You like that? Not a rum guy. Oh, just vodka and more. We can substitute the rum for vodka. Just How's more vodka, vodka, vodka. Yeah, vodka. You know what Ace likes with his vodka. Vodka. Right. Yeah, he right. told us that. A vodka back. I'll have a double and a vodka back. <laughs> yeah. vodka. He likes to get a, a big glass of vodka and then get a shot glass of vodka and drop the shot glass in. Yeah, he does. It's called yeah. the Ace. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the uh, Ace. It's called the Ace in the Hole. Oh, oh, there you go. There formerly you go. the Black Russian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, right, hold it down. Yeah, everybody behave. Back hold in the tracks when we come back. Skiing with Moose, um, um, oozing black eggs, only fans in the news, and um, some very special uh, sexy stuff. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob and Tom Show on Facebook. Get the link at Bob and Tom. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me, is right here. I could easily be doing this. We we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Wait a minute, Chick's doing his uh, office chair dance. Yeah. It looks like you're having a stroke. <laughs> a stroke of genius. <laughs> so this isn't your song again? This isn't no, no, this is Chick's Can you give me the... Can you kill that? This is your favorite song then. Maybe I can... Yeah. This is your favorite song. 
Great, great favorite scene. disco song. Oh, Josh is dancing now. This is. Are you reaching for the stars there? What the hell is that dance? So if you were on the dance floor, you would not do that. Why to this song, probably, because really? it would mean we were at a wedding or something. I beg your pardon? Of course you would. Now, by by we, <laughs> oh, you'd have a date and do that in front well, of a of woman? Of course you would. Well, no, I don't Hope think they're they serving typically don't take dates to weddings. You Why know, not? you pick, you pick up, up the maid of honor. Yeah. You know, Tom, there are only a few women who are attracted to self-important hubris. And <laughs> Josh is out there on the dance floor trying to have fun. You're over in the corner pontificating about how you wouldn't have gotten the cake that they chose for their wedding. And there are only a few women going to come over. He's interesting. That's why you're socially awkward. That's why you've so, always been socially so awkward. So who would you be doing that dance, dance with? Whoever's out there. Really? Your nieces, go, they love to dance. Sure, they'd yes. be. If, if oh, the, go the, to a the bridesmaids. The niece feet on your feet and oh, dancing them around. And let me, let me tell you this. When, I, when broads, I dance. Broads are a sucker for that move. When I dance, pe- I, I don't go to people. People come to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so. Let's see it again. He's moving the shoulders. Now he's reaching for the stars with his with a grin in his face. Yeah. Aren't there enough networks now to just be the Bob and Tom network and have oh, us on God. TV all the time? Well, we're on TV See right this? now in the VIP cameras. Right. Well, we can't get all the listeners in that room, okay? That was helpful. Not at all. Okay. <laughs> Are you so sure it's not Eminence Front by the Who? I'm, I'm checking uh, social media now to see if anybody... Well, sing the disco song that gets stuck in your head that you can't remember. He, he only knows, knows the... the- Da, 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 uh, try Rubber Band Man. Um, oh. Rubber Band Man. Boom, yeah. boom, 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 uh, the Rubber boom, Band Man. Da, da, da. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember that. Oh, I've had multiple people suggesting that, so. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. That, that may be it, then. Might yeah, be. hopefully it is. Now, what is the instrument doing that? I don't know. It's kind of a high pitch. I don't know what it is. Okay, okay. Well, we'll have to explore. Maybe it's a rubber band. Dean's looking for it. Okay. Um, sorry. Is, is it this one? Oh. Yeah, this is good. Oh, this is good. Yes. The key to their brilliant performance. <laughs> but perhaps no other defense in the NFL compares to the one seen in night. 1994, when O.J. Simpson faced double homicide charges in an L.A. courtroom. We salute you, Orenthal James Simpson, NFL Hall of Famer, accused murderer, and free American citizen. This has been Bob and Tom Super Bowl Trivia. Don't say we didn't warn you. I'm warning you, don't do that. There's laughter ahead. I should be having a better time <laughs> if this is a part. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Radio. Joining us in the studio, comedian Ed Yeager. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi Ed. Ed. How are you? Good. Good to see you again. I'm glad football season's almost here. I love football. I do, too. I was, uh, sit- I was in a hotel room. <laughs> and I just I was watching a football game and I, I opened the drawer, I pull out the Bible, I turned I I turned to John three sixteen. Mm-hmm. And it actually says, Sitteth thee in the end zone with a large sign. <laughs> <laughs> a thought from Paul Gilmartin. Down the elevator shaft they plunged, hurtling towards their death. Their faces drawn by Edvard Monk. They smelled the devil's breath. <laughs> Your tongue, she said at number three. Let me see its size. He grinned and licked his forehead. She buckled at the thighs. <laughs> the impact satisfied them both. Police were left some clues. A smiling woman all alone in a stranger's pair of shoes. <laughs> hey, I have a sexual fantasy associated with the earthquake. Go. All right, woke chick up. Uh-huh. Uh, in my fantasy, I'm making love to this woman. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, she feels the earth move beneath her. Ah, yes. And then she rolls over on top of me and shields me from debris. (laughs) (laughs) Safety first, everybody. Safety first. Hi, this is comedian Tim Cavanaugh. Fuel tonight. 
Okay, welcome back to the Bob and Tom's show. Jeff's Hooker at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick. My man in the performance studio. You're my man, too. There's Josh <laughs> Arnold. Hey, Chick. You're each other's, man. each other's man, apparently. I hate Steven Singer's sidekick chair. Mm. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. Later today, we'll talk with Willie. He's in Las Vegas for the big game. Uh, Jeff Oske will stop by and tell us where we went wrong. And also uh, Hollywood actor, our buddy Drew Powell. Or is going to be on the show later. I'm Chick, and here's Tom. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Drew is uh, currently one of the guys on uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. He's got a couple movies coming out. We'll talk to Drew. Uh, um, now, Pat, Yeah. it's my understanding that um, you're going to be doing a show. A, a big crowd expected in Evansville, Indiana, tomorrow night at Pat Coslett's. So um, check Thanks. that out. It's going to be Mr. Oske and uh, Mr. Godwin um, on stage. It should be a great show. Now, a couple of other things while I'm at it. In Ohio, Maslin, Ohio... Crackpots Comedy <laughs> Club. It's going to be tonight only. Mr. Haywood Banks. That's a good name for a comedy club. It is. And crackpots. It's, and it's Crackpots with a K because K's are funnier. Right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Good enough. And then in Hastings, Nebraska at the auditorium tonight, it's Kostaki Economopolis. Got a bunch of guys out there doing some great comedy. So uh, get off your buns and go do something. See something live and in person. Now, uh, we turn that way. Oh, did I mention the Looney Bin and... Uh, in Oklahoma. Who's there? In Tulsa. That would be uh, Mr. Greg Warren. Oh. You've heard of him. Greg he's, Greg. He's the best. So if you can't get in any comedy clubs, you can try Greg. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, uh, yeah. unbelievable. He'll be giving a speech. I mean, they are. Yeah. <laughs> tell, tell, <laughs> tell, tell, tell Greg we said hi. I, oh, and anything of interest over there? Oh, uh, We also had the uh, this year's uh, class of uh, the Hall of Fame uh, inductees announced last night at the uh, NFL Honors. Tom, we weren't done yet with uh, the really? winners from last night. You know, there's some really cool stuff in sports. Um, yeah, I know. Uh, Dwight Freeney. All Former right. uh, Indianapolis Colt is uh, uh, going into the Hall of Fame. His last name rhymes with weenie. Did you guys know that? <laughs> <laughs> Freeney weenie. Should I say that to his face? You Chili should. beanie. <laughs> yeah, you might want to contact an orthodontist prior to. <laughs> He's a great guy. Or maybe, uh, maybe someone who can do implants. <laughs> Andre Johnson. They call him 3,000. Yeah, they do. Anything? No? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Devin Hester of uh, the Bears, of course, a return guy extraordinary. Scarlet Leonard. <laughs> Devin Hester Prynne, <laughs> uh, Randy Gratishar, Ohio State uh, standout, Patrick Willis. Uh, what, what you, you talking, talking about, about, Willis? Thank you. Uh, Steve McMichael. Does anybody remember what Steve McMichael's uh, nickname was? Mm, the you'll, know it, you'll know it when I say. Mon Big Mac. Mongo. Oh. Mm -hmm. They called him Mongo because he kind of looked like uh, Alex Karras. Oh, from uh, in Blazing Mongo Blazing Only Pawn in Game of Life. <laughs> Can't be from Mango. Mm. Mm. There's Julius Peppers. A Ace made a noise. <laughs> <laughs> Julius Peppers uh, also receiving a uh, gold jacket. They call him the Doctor. <laughs> Doctor Julius Peppers. Okay. All right. And now, Doctor we'll, J. We'll get. Well, that was taken. <laughs> we'll get. We'll get Tom back. Uh, this is about skiing. Tom, welcome ah. back to the show. A uh, moose was spotted running down the ski slopes. Yeah, you probably saw the video. What else is going on? Of Jackson Hole, <laughs> no. that's, 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 To be clear here, the moose is not spotted. Uh, that that's would be, true, yeah. That would be. That'd be cool. <laughs> spotted moose. Have you seen a spotted moose? That sounds like a British dessert. Well, isn't this the uh, <laughs> IPA? <laughs> it's a combination of uh, chocolate moose and spotted dick. Yes. Wouldn't the uh, Oxford Common be applicable here? A uh, moose well, was spotted, comma. No. Running down the ski slopes. No, no that's and not Oxford, comma, not Cambridge, comma. Comma. no comma comma. whatsoever. No comma splice should get marked down for that. How about this? A spotted moose was spotted running down <laughs> Well, then that would infer that it okay. had spots, yeah. Imply, infer? Actually, it would pretty much just state. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but to be clear, again, the moose does not have spots. As Josh mentioned, <clears throat> video captured on the mountain shows the moose barreling down a slope as skiers attempt to get out of its way. Watch it till the end. This is the story. I did not watch till the end. What happens at the end? He runs into Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, oh no. Uh, well, there'll be a lawsuit. It's be a big oh. lawsuit for a dollar. Okay. <laughs> she lost an afternoon of skiing. <laughs> and uh, sure. she had to go to, she was very uh, upset by having to go to uh, court and everything, right? Yeah, this ski pole smells like my vagina. Oh. <laughs> That's a bad awkward, accident. awkward yeah. landing. Yeah. I, didn't, ah. I should have mentioned that. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, video captured that uh, the skiers are trying to get out of the moose's way. James Brower of Idaho Fishing Game 
uh, said the moose was not likely chasing anybody as much as it's trying to get out of the way of the skiers and accidentally got on the, the slopes. It didn't look like it was pursuing anyone. Just it just moose. looked like it was running. This is his This is his place. <laughs> You're in the moose's house. What's the chick? What do you got there? The story itself? Yeah, this is, that's it. Yeah. That's it? Moose in the ski slope. It's fascinating. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Can you imagine if you were water skiing and you uh, saw moose, a moose? Well, now, now, now you've got something. You're right. It's a spot of moose walking on the water. Oh, my God. Yeah, that sure would be a story. Jesus Christ, moose. <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. See, oh. this, is, this is one of the reasons I love to ski in Colorado. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. see that there. No yeah. moose? No. So you just have to watch out for stoned, reckless snowboarders. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what about lighter. bears? Bears um, in Colorado? Sure. Surely yeah. wolves. Never seen one, but. Well, there yeah, was a video. They're of releasing it. the wolves. Oh, they're they're seeding the mountains with wolves right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to get mm. the lesser skiers out of there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they got a slow kid. Hey, no pizza, kid. I want some French fries. Those are ski terms, Josh. Oh, they are. Yeah. Oh. Pizza means you're doing like a snow plow move. French fries, you're parallel. Oh, I see, like a okay. wedge type deal. Yeah, and the wedge. All right, yeah, 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 and then yeah, two. Yeah. 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 But they're, they're food terms. It's not to be distracted should you take up skiing. Are those your terms or are they <laughs> like no, they're, 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 they're universal. Oh, okay. okay. Interna okay. International. Hot okay. dog. That's a ski term, isn't it? Remember Carol Hot Dog the movie? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Huh. Carol's <laughs> skiers. <laughs> ah. Anyway, if you get a chance, watch the moose. Can I have a hot dog? Pretty cool. <laughs> Josh, do you water ski? Uh, I tried as a child. I couldn't get up, uh, but I, would, I have not tried since. But oh, I, okay. I think I would and could and yeah. should. Yeah. Maybe this summer. You lose yeah. three boats, though. You got to quit. I don't know if she'll, uh, she's very modest. Don't. But we are in the presence of one of the greatest all time tubers it's, in the history of water it's sports. It's not a skill. Yes. It kind of is. is. You can yeah, hang on. You can hang well, on. Well, I think a uh, year she, or two, she's too modest to talk about the famous time she slipped off and had the so called 100 yard douche. <laughs> yeah. That's a real thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she gets it up in the air. It's nuts. Man. The, the, the flies. Uh, yeah. The herself, tube flies. Up in the okay. Yes. yes. That's, yeah. Once, once yeah. again, to clarify, she's not spotted either. <laughs> well, or spotting, depending on. Oh, the... <laughs> oh, well, okay. thanks, guys. Well, see, he he poo poos my great story about a moose on the ski slope. And I get and I get hit. That's yeah. that's I how it works. I didn't do yeah. anything. Oh, it's 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 friendly fire all over the place. Oh, right? you're in the room. <laughs> you're fair game. <laughs> get <laughs> out. I'm telling you, you want you want to see this? No, you, you no, forget you don't. M moose are gigantic. Yeah. They're big, big. Does it knock anyone? Does anything happen in the video? No. Yeah, there's a moose running down the slopes in front of the guy. <laughs> That's it. He's just. Counting. I mean, what you're picturing is exactly what the video is. Yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah, it, it, you it's know what? It is kind of beautiful, beautiful creature. It's nature and man. Yeah, there was one from Lake Tahoe earlier a couple months ago with a bear running across the ski slopes. Well, is that the one where the skier has? I think it's a snowboarder and has the GoPro facing yeah. them, and, and you, they don't know, but the bear is chasing them. I've seen that. That, that yes. was that's, last year. Oh, that okay. was a great one. Oh my gosh! So See, funny. that's yeah. that's an interesting video. <laughs> As opposed to this one? Yes. So, so what would you rather be talking about a cool moose chasing someone in Jacksonville, Wyoming, or a roster of every player in the NFL getting an award last night because the poontang and the money isn't enough? I would like to see <laughs> someone out there practicing the biathlon, and as the moose approaches, he whips around and shoots the moose. Oh. Wouldn't that be fun? No. Fun. Why antlers, do you want to shoot a moose? Antlers everywhere. That sounds like a dirty, dirty or a fruit bowl. <laughs> With your whole, I shot a moose at that girl. You're just hanging it in her face, right? What is your deal today? Yeah, okay. Is there anything else in sports? I, I, I like what's going on. Yeah, we're planning a trip to Vegas. Yeah, yeah we're, we're going to Vegas. What, yeah. what are we getting? Coming up, the Paris Olympics. <laughs> what are we going to Vegas for again? What are we going for again? Um, it was new something. We're going to get a uh, new head. <laughs> what? what Not that phrase. Uh, coming that up, um, there, this, this is a great story about the Olympics. This is so cool. Oh boy, is it as cool? Is it cool, chick? Uh, it's 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 mildly interesting. Will you pretend it's cool? I sure will. Will you pretend? It's, I sure will. Okay. Yes. It's, they've made a great choice. They're doing something just there, there's really no, cool. There's no moose involved. I can tell you that. Uh, okay. Plenty of frogs. I know that. Oh, oh that's very clever. That's very clever. How did they get that nickname, by the way? For the French, the yeah. frogs. Let's, that's a great I, I, question. I'm guessing, I'm guessing the uh, starting with an FR thing, probably. They eat, oh, uh, they that's flies, I think. Let's spend the rest of the morning uh, analyzing the history of all uh, <laughs> racial slurs. <laughs> <laughs> Where does it come from? Well, hillbilly is, uh, well, that's oh, not right. a race. It, do people in France 
find uh, the French, do they find frog offensive? I oh, have yeah, no they idea. Do. Yeah, oh, they, they do. do? Yeah, yeah. They, don't they, uh, they do? Yes. I mean, I don't find That's honky, frogs. honky particularly offensive. Oh, it hurts me. It cuts really? me to the quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I think it means you ride your horn when yeah. you're driving. Okay. Um, honk, 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 honk. Uh, actually, the origin is, is uh, quite unfortunate. We will uh, now discuss Valentine's Day. The clock is ticking. How, how much longer do we have? A week? Less than a, less than a week. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Better take care of this right now. Five days, buddy. Do it right now. Uh, Steven Singer Jewelers. Uh, you'll find Steven Singer Jewelers, of course, by going to IHateStevenSinger.com. What are you looking for? Well, there's all kinds of great stuff for Valentine's Day. One of the uh, specialities, if you will, is that a word? Uh, is the Malibu Pink 24-karat gold-dipped rose. These are real roses dipped in gold, hand-painted. We got one right over there by Josh. That's the famous Malibu Pink. These start at just 59 bucks. They come in a beautiful box with a great gift card. They're covering all the bases for you. And it's, of course, got the famous Steven Singer guarantee. Also... I should point out that uh, oh, Christy has that beautiful bracelet. Um, I'm, she's, I bet she's got it on right now wherever she is on a little vacation. Um, there are many things you'll find at IHateStevenSinger.com. Christy suggests putting the bracelet and dangle it from the rose. I suggest diamond earrings and put them in the, in the peas. Make her a nice uh, filet, <laughs> perhaps uh, salmon or roast beef, maybe. And uh, voila. This you assumption that everyone has peas on yeah, Valentine's Day. I know. Day. How did that right? start? Well, high protein. I'm on a high protein diet, so I'm a big pea guy. Oh, so. yes. Oh. All right. Oh. And speaking like of peas, peas, it's on your mind. I've got to leave one in just a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hasten down the wind. As, uh, <laughs> as, uh, Linda Ronstadt. Linda Ronstadt's yeah. famous album, Hasten Down My Panties. Um, Malibu pink everywhere, even in Linda Ronstadt's panties. Oh. Um, 24 what? karat pure gold dipped rose from my buddy steven singer that's i got a nice uh, i got a nice present for mr singer you think uh, that's going to make up for the linda ronstadt panties talk during his ad mm. you know probably not <laughs> <laughs> i can just see steven going um would you please cancel uh, i hate steven singer.com steven famous for his guarantee if you don't like it set it back it's all on the house you'll get all the details uh check it out be sure to i would do this right now pull over you can get this done in two minutes and you've got valentine's day covered don't be the guy buying the roses from the guy under the bridge that smell like cemetery vomit Okay, I'm Would telling you. Would you like a dozen roses? <laughs> We're coming That's the guy. right back with something very cool from the Olympics. I think I'm so excited. Also, Jeffrey Oske with the news we failed to mention coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom 24-7. Good morning. Thanks for tuning in to the Bob and Tom Show. We couldn't do it without you, the Bob and Tom Show listener. And for everything... Ready and action. Hey, we should wake up every morning with Bob and Tom. That sounds good to me. No problem here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that'd be my fault. The hell was that? Ready and action. Hey, we should wake up every morning with Bob and Tom. Well, that sounds good to me. No problem here. How's it going? Morning. Hey, hold on there, kid. I'm Bob. And I'm Tom. From the Bob and Tom Show. We thought we'd barge in. God. There's a new one. <laughs> hey, kid, hold on there. I'm Bob. And I'm Tom. From the Bob and Tom Show. We do a morning radio show here in town. Here's the deal. We thought we'd break into your house. <laughs> Consarn it. <laughs> Shoot. Darn it. Honey, I'm home. Oh, great. Fish again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we can vote you off this commercial. You know, Chick wanted Richard Hatch. <laughs> what if we paid you to say you liked us? <laughs> I think that we can vote you off. Okay. Come way down. And now the news. Oh. You do sports. And now, and now the sports. <laughs> that would be you, Chick. Sports terms that sound dirty, but they're not. No, oh, really. Ready? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Coming in first place. <laughs> Good. Palming the ball. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Taking it to the hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just don't get your holes mixed up. Right. 
Oh, this you get get your your hose messed up. <laughs> Flip the cord over. Flip the cord over. I don't well, want it in my. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's what they're looking for here. <laughs> don't. Oh, How right. many times have I heard, heard that? that. <laughs> Take two. A London homeowner who discovered three men trying to rob his house had no difficulty in describing one of the suspects. He had no legs. Ooh, Ooh usually in crime, it's the... <laughs> <laughs> Usually in crime, it's the police that are stumped, not the criminals. <laughs> I know you guys probably aren't interested, but guess what I did this weekend? I don't know. I don't know. Did you uh, impeach Bush? <laughs> no. Buzz the honey hole? <laughs> no. Flick the minnow? Did you flick the minnow? <laughs> Flicking the old minnow? Oh, Flicking wow. the minnow? Or did you impeach Clinton? Bailing out the gravy boat? Is that what you were doing? <laughs> Finger the fountain. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like wow. a wonderful time, but no, I didn't do any of those things. Sorry. Oh, what um, a boring weekend. <laughs> yeah, Move on. Yes. Bounce the bearded clam. <laughs> <laughs> did you yeah, attend yeah. the clam twiddling jamboree? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm That's what if I did. Get to that or not? Yeah, I double dribbled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Tom did. I uh, just took his only uh, line. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I like to think of Bob as the funny. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prop. Yeah. It's part of the drinking. Act. <laughs> I like to think of Bob as the funny one, and I'm more the philosophical one. Ah, really? By the way, you left your headlights on. Socrates. <laughs> <laughs> What's new? Did the other, can you do the other That's line? It? That's it. That's it. That was the <laughs> joke. Yeah, well, That's the it. Line? This one right here. I think of Bob as the funny one. I'm more of the philosophical one. Really? Will you shut up and drink your hemlock, please? <laughs> <laughs> I told you to be too hip for you. Hemlock, you know. Hemlock. Socrates. What is it? Poison. Poison. Start with H. You want hemlock? <laughs> Headlights. What's next? <laughs> Hemorrhoid. Hemorrhoid. <laughs>
<laughs> it's Jeff Probst's <laughs> no. Never Talked About Cousin. <laughs> it's Ed Septic here from oh. Ed Septic Sewage Plumbing and Supply. Hey, oh, Ed. Man. Ed, I like, your, I like your outfit. That looks really familiar. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm zooming in here from a shop, having a cold one to start the day. Oh, it sure is. Look at that. You know what they say. It's uh, 530 somewhere. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's real. You guys excited about the big game this weekend? Yeah, you got a yeah. special? Uh, I don't even know who's in it. All I know is I'm rooting for the Browns to go down if you catch my breath. <laughs> well, don't they can't they actually measure when the commercials play on the Super Bowl by toilet flushes in many cities? Uh, I don't know these facts and numbers that you're talking about, Tom, but I have to, <laughs> since it's you, I assume you're correct. <laughs> That's correct. Uh, if you have a quick second, Tom, I wanted to introduce you to a good friend of mine. Oh, good. This is Turdy the Turd Wrench. Oh. Old Turdy here. That's right. Turdy is a fourth generation turd ranch. It was passed down from my great grandfather Ned Septic to my grandfather Fred Septic uh -huh. to my dad Ted, then on to me, Ed. Hopefully one day I can pass it on to my son, Ed number two. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, Ed number two is currently more interested in playing. Playing Fortnite than learning the family business. Oh, but I guess I should yeah. cut him some slack. Yeah. You're only six once. <laughs> Boy, if old Turdy here could talk, the stories he would tell. My great grandfather <laughs> Ned used old Turdy here during Prohibition. Yeah, he'd use it to fix people's pipes and people who got behind on their hooch payments to the mob. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, then during the Depression, my grandfather, Septic, used Turdy to steal people's pipes so he could scrap them for cash to keep his family fed. <laughs> All right. All the memories. <laughs> my father once used Turdy here to fend off my mother when she caught him banging Miss Jenkins from apartment 227. <laughs> Uh -huh. Because unlike myself, my father Ted would bang both your pipes and your wife oh. all day, every day. Oh. But not you, Ed. No, I remember on his deathbed, he handed old Turdy to me, <laughs> pulled me in close and said, I know your mother poisoned me, boy. I can't prove it, but the bitch did it. <laughs> <laughs> then he says to me, don't lose old Turdy here. It's the only thing that's ever mattered to me in my entire life. Oh, oh. wow. Yeah, we had him cremated, then we flushed him down his favorite toilet at Tiger Stadium during the seventh inning stretch. Oh, Isn't that nice? Yeah, now he's up in the clouds with his porcelain god and his angel soft toilet paper looking down. <laughs> I hope I'm making you proud, Papa. <laughs> I'm sure you are, Edward. <laughs> All right, I gotta run. I gotta I got nine thirty at the Barnowskis. They gotta they gotta <laughs> They got a basement <laughs> full of sewage up to their elbows. Oh, uh, no. Anybody want to take the prop bed on the over-under on the number of floaters? Uh, <laughs> nope. All right. Go down Browns. Uh, hey. 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 Edward. That's Ed from Med Septic. Oh, Remember, he'll, he'll bang your pipes, but he won't bang your wife. Always a truth. Uh, Gentlemen. It's, it's a family tradition. Though. Mm -hmm. So goodness. nice. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, now, we have some cool Olympic news. I think this is a great story, and you, of course, don't. No. I, uh, I think it's a wonderful story and I've been instructed uh, to be enthusiastic about this story so I will be <laughs> the medals that will be awarded at the Paris Olympics will be made with pieces of the Eiffel Tower isn't that cool? I, just hope they, I, I hope they didn't take the. I hope they didn't use the structural pieces at the bottom holding it up. I don't think so. I, the hexagonal polished chunk of iron taken from the iconic landmark is being embedded in each gold, silver, and bronze medal that will be hung around athletes' necks. That is at incredibly cool. Paris no, it is. Games this summer. If no, I want a gold medal, I want it a hundred percent gold. Ninety-nine point nine percent gold, baby, gold. It's, it's a brilliant. This is like mode. when you get a brownie with nuts. You're like, no, I just want what? the brownie. Yeah. You know, something I, you gotta have nuts. I, I don't agree nuts. with your analogy, but yeah. I do hate You, you wouldn't even let me just have that little aside? No. You no, had Josh, no, Josh is right. Nuts and brownies ruin them. <laughs> oh. I love nuts. I love brownies. No. Hate Not it. even a pecan? No. Pecan? What about a pecan sandy? Do you like those? And sure. Who was, and who was sandy, by yeah, the way? And what is a sandy? Yeah. It's oh. a, a dusty cookie. <laughs> it's yeah. dumb dry, thing. but tasty. Joachim Ronson, <laughs> head of design at the Paris Games Organizing Committee. He's and great. By Ronson. the way, a paren, he thinks all Americans are filthy pigs. He said the <laughs> iron... 
The iron chunks each weigh 18 grams. I'm not sure where we are in poundage or ounces. Iron chunk was my nickname in elementary school. Is that right? Yeah. Here comes iron. Don't I always had back. a wrinkled shirt and I was fat. <laughs> <laughs> So they ironically <laughs> called me Iron Chunk. <laughs> Iron Chunk's in there. <laughs> 18 gr- I love nuts and brownies. <laughs> they were taken from pieces that have been swapped out of the Eiffel Tower during renovations. Hmm. You mean that's not the original Eiffel Tower that the, that we yes, see? They're, 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 to maintain it, there are certain things they have to do. This is the coolest thing. Can you say it's 100% the Eiffel Tower as it stood in 18... 18- 32 when it was constructed? I think it's 5% original materials. That's exactly what I, I think. I think it's uh, almost exclusively original material. <laughs> I don't want my silver medal with rusty bits in no. it. Uh, games or Game organizers added the metal used in the medals, not to mention the Eiffel Tower bits, uh, all recycled. Not newly mined. You see the, the picture on it? Nope. The chunks are stamped. <laughs> I mean, no, not yet, but I will be looking forward to seeing them. The uh, chunks are stamped with Paris 2024. And uh, oh, that the, makes sense. The game's logo, <laughs> which looks like a flame or the face of a woman lighting a cigarette with a bob haircut. <laughs> <laughs> One in France. <laughs> what is the uh, percentage of uh, French, French people who smoke? smoke? Is it like 100%? I think the uh, per capita the most is, I want to say, China. Is that right? Yeah, mm-hmm. somewhere in Asia. But uh, Fran- I think France is still pretty high. Yeah. I think it's a great thing to put in the metal. That's uh, it's just so cool. You don't, uh, it's so artistic and fun. It sounds, These Paris games are going to be great. It's, interest- it's interesting. I, I, the jury's still out on how they're going to be able to do it. What do you mean? They've all, they've, logistically, it's uh, causing nightmares. Every We hear this before every, every time, Olympics. Yeah. No, nah, well, if you, uh, and- if you were like me and had uh, several uh, uh, native Parisians calling you at uh, midnight. Well, I think native Parisians call you, we can't say on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> you filthy, filthy. <laughs> rhymes, with, rhymes with ucking <laughs> hole. <laughs> I thought that was French. Are you kidding me? Well, in part is French. Uh, here's another story. Do we know if they're going to be able to swim in the Seine yet? Yeah, if they don't mind uh, having no, a, with, with, diarrhea with, for six weeks. No, there was a they had there was a problem with uh, E. coli last uh. summer. They were testing it, so it's, it's going to be great. I'm very excited. So, if you were an athlete and they said, "Okay, it's safe to swim in there now," would you swim in there now? Sure. These, oh, these athletes, would. these One athletes have spent day. the better part of their lives preparing for this. It's a great. It's going to be great. Aren't I'll ask. Uh, I'll ask someone reasonable. Yes. Jess, <laughs> would you swim? In the, the, com, you're an athlete going to the Olympics, and they said, well, uh, last year at this time it was full of E. coli. Now it's fine. Go ahead and swim. Would you swim? Yeah. I mean, if they treated it. Yeah. Right? All right. No? I may, I'd go drink a glass right now in front of me. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Because the average uh, Olympic swimmer ingests seven glasses of water. Did you know that when they swim? Absolutely. And that's just in the 50 meter. <laughs> Those marathon guys, my God. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about Kids, do not tell that to your teacher today. Yeah. <laughs> the breaststroke. Yeah. What if they have uh, someone uh, broadcasting uh, the uh, swimming competition in the Olympics and every time he says breaststroke, he oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I know when I see that breast, I stroke. Oh man, look at that. I wouldn't All stroke. right. I, <laughs> I'd watch those Olympics. The Olympics are ob- they're essentially obsolete, aren't they? What do you mean? Nobody cares. Nobody watches. Yes, they do. <laughs> they watch uh, Snoop Dogg and uh, Gary Hart. No, what's his name? Kevin. Kevin. Hart. I watch Gary Hart. <laughs> 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 Look at her. Is he still alive? I don't. I don't know. But I think he is. if he were announcing know. women's volleyball, <laughs> oh, 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 she's hot. I like it. Hmm. You know, Paris is uh, uh, oh, here famous go. for its open urinals. What do you mean, open urinals? You yeah. mean like out on the sidewalk? Yeah, eco-friendly open urinals in the mm. in several parts mm-hmm. of Paris. Lovely place. I don't remember that. They drain right into the sand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's true. <laughs> you know, they have sidewalk commodes that are just glass great poupon jars. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, now, that I believe. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Shall we? I need a great poupon jar. Man, that commercial was everywhere. Remember that? Oh, yes. Yeah. Pardon Good. me. Do you have any gray poupon? Ugh. 
Mem- oh. I'm a fan of Grey Poupon. I think it's a tasty mustard. I like it in certain uh, certain hot dogs. I, I love it. But other Oh, than that's that, very fancy. Oh, yeah, very Hot fa- dog specific, certain, huh? Certain it's kind, of a, kind of a slumming thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. Kind of a working class hot dog and a bougie mustard. It's a, that's, it's, that defines you, really. It's a nod to my white trash history and also uh, my station in life currently. Yes, exactly. Oh, we had a request for the white trash expo piece. We can't. We can't play we it. Can't it's, play. I listened ever. to it for the first time oh. in a couple of years. It's yeah, it's uh, it's no. poetry. It's uh, <laughs> it is it is so offensive. Uh, uh, just count wow. yourself lucky if you have a copy of it at home and enjoy it there. Yeah, you're gonna have so to, offensive. D- d- dig up the CD. Yeah, really. Oh, it's great. Well, that can't be offensive. <laughs> well, I don't think it's offensive, but I don't think you're offensive. So <laughs> yeah, there you thank go. you. <laughs> not one to judge, really. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, no, I'm not. anyway, the, I think the medals are super cool for the Olympics. They have pieces of the Eiffel Tower. That's I didn't mid- know. That's they, just great. They took pieces of the Eiffel Tower out and replaced them with other pieces. How do they do that? Well, the same way they fix bridges or anything else. Oh, there it is. What's yeah, there's the metal. Looks like garbage. It's like a watch. It looks uh. like um, it looks like an air filter. Yeah, it sure does. A little bit. Yeah. You know what? If I want, I go no thanks and hand it right back. <laughs> That's and it's very large. It's bigger than a tennis ball. Now, now, is it true? Is it Flatter. true that the uh, ah, well, good point, <laughs> fair, fair point? Is it true that the Polish athletes when they receive their gold medals? Oh my god! Want to get them bronze? You can do that old bronze. joke. <laughs> Dust that off, will you? And that joke's very good. I don't <laughs> care who you put. Joke. I don't care who you put in the yes. place of. Yes, that's yeah. very good. The you, French will get their gold medals bronze. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, that's the thing. Yes. Anybody can Anybody. use their yes. yes. <laughs> Yes, the Americans are so stupid. Yeah, right, right. You know right. they're saying it about yes, us. Yes, of course. Let's have some fun. Now, I have a question about, no, the Paris Olympics, it's going to be the first one to feature break dancing. Um, That's a real thing. Yeah, yes. do you bring your own cardboard? How does that work? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> do you have to use... Uh, I'm guessing... Can they? Can the cardboard have, like, because it's a cut-up box, could it have an ad for something? I bet it does, and I bet it's... Uh, hey, look, Galois. Probably a mad... Olympic-sanctioned... Kind of uh, I always thought that the cardboard was to protect you from the concrete in the street. Yeah, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. what's the yeah. point? But if you have a dance floor... You're fine. You're fine. Oh, they're doing <laughs> it on a dance floor? I would assume yeah, they're so. Yeah, on the street. It's not street enough for me. You want them out in the street? No, I want them not in the Olympics. <laughs> Just outside of a bistro on a corner. <laughs> hey, look, it's the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, is that the Olympics? That's the Olympics. Hey, hey, look, there's some guy with a boom box. Now he's he's uh, in, infatuated with the metal situation, but he doesn't want breakdancing to be a part of it. The, no, they're, they're, they're watering it down. Here we I go. wonder about the music on that. It's a guy with a boom box. Do they get to pick like the figure skaters do or whatever? Yeah, that's what I would and assume, licensing right? licensing fees and stuff like that. I mean, uh, <laughs> they can afford it. Well, they do they use music in the yeah. the skating uh, competition. How much does yeah. that cost? Uh, it's a, 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 a lot. A dollar ninety nine a minute. Okay. Yeah. I see. Um, <laughs> I see. Elsewhere in sports. <laughs> Authorities in Nepal say people climbing Mount Everest will now have to bring their feces back to base camp for disposal. Come on yes. with this. <laughs> Isn't, isn't there like a crevice you could heave it in? Yes. Due to, <laughs> yeah. due to extreme temperatures, excrement left on Everest does not fully degree. <laughs> I just frozen crap up there. Um, officials estimate there are about three tons of human waste on the mountain. Three tons. Who did that math? Of human waste. I'd, I'd like to that see that, that story problem. Climbers must now... 1,700 people have climbed Everest. The average poop weighs... <laughs> Hang on a second. Who is... Is this a Sherpa? Who is this? This is some <laughs> jackass that making more dumb rules we don't need. Climbers must now buy poop bags, much like you would for your puppy, at base camp, which will be checked upon their return. Oh, that's a great gig. <laughs> well, I used to be a Sherpa. Now I, I I, collect the poop bags from the climbers, the ones that make it back. The dead ones, you know. Local chairman uh, Mingma Sherpa uh, told Convenient. the BBC, uh, our, mounts are, our mountains, there's so much poop, they've begun to sink and stink. <laughs> they not to sink. Sink. <laughs> he added, we're getting complaints that human stools are visible on rocks and some climbers are, because some climbers are getting sick. <laughs> now what? there's puke, too. Now there's puke. Oh, now he... Jess, you had a question about the poop up there? 
<laughs> I just didn't think you were supposed to expose any part of your skin while you're out there. So you how do you? To, you have to defecate, obviously. Well, I I know. But, I'm just curious of what you do. Do you, is there a you hole in your defecate. pants? Do you? No, you drop trowel quickly and go. No, I know, but then yes, you could you, get you get freeze. burnt on your butt. I would think you would get wind burn or something. Yeah, that's part of the deal. You want to go up to Everest or not? I want to go to the top of the world and leave a couple of turds up there. What do For you think? $90,000, people climb that thing yeah. and go and through it, that. It, it, several die usually every year. I well, have you seen uh, the ones of people climbing and the bodies just like sure. sliding down the mountain as yeah. they're climbing up? <laughs> you think, that, you think that'd be a priority? Sliding down the mountain. Wouldn't that be a priority, really bringing the bodies back rather than the turds of the uh, uh, That's climate? where I would start, yeah, with the bodies. Yeah. I'm guessing because they have those big groups going up, they probably all poop in the same place. Oh. So it's like, yeah. probably a field of... So I can see their point. But then I you got to uh, you got to carry it with you, though. That's what's really. Awful. I think ninety grand is probably a bargain. I think it's. Is it more than that? Yeah, I want to say it's six figures. But for wouldn't a, you say at some point you'd be at a place where there's a big crevasse you can just heave it over? Yes, and you can do that with the bodies too. Yeah, yeah. toss them in there. Yeah. Well, there you go. Oh yeah, but you can. Well, uh, hey, isn't look, that better? Look, if you go, if you're taking a chance, you know, doing that, you're taking a chance. You should sign a waiver saying, "Hey, look, if I die up there, throw All me right. in the crevasse." Are these people like the people that do, you know, the the fit stuff and they jump on the boxes and they flip the tires? Like, that's all they talk about, right? Yeah. The CrossFit. Yeah, and, yeah the the, and the people that climb this. There's so many people do it. About. This would Jack probably asses. be, we could probably recycle all those plastic grocery bags that we take. <laughs> <laughs> Finally something to do with them. Hey, wait a minute, say those are going to Everest. It's for the turds. <laughs> the turds! Yeah. What about the turds? Do they um, have an Everest? Do they have a... Um, a uh, restaurant up on, uh, they, sh they should have up on the <laughs> summit, a restaurant. Like you think top, it would be, like what would that be like? You mean, yeah. you mean in the death zone? Yeah. I mean, you would have to, uh, you uh, couldn't have people that work eight-hour shifts. Uh -huh. Name your but table, you could still uh, Donner. How do you think that <laughs> Donner, Donner, part, Donner party be? at five? What's the matter, Josh? Well, well, yeah, Pat and I want to know what, what the reviews of such a restaurant, restaurant might be. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah. food? great food, yeah. but uh, a lot less atmosphere than you'd think. <laughs> oh, See what you. I did there? Because the there Mars is joke. atmosphere. But not right, 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 but it's not. Yeah. Not a lot of oxygen. That's why you. Say. That's why you get sunburned up there. There's nothing between you and the sun. Was, uh, another well, reason I don't want to climb Everest. Mm. Of the other hundred, and now I don't. I can't. I can't imagine back. anything along that daredevilish uh, uh, area that you would want to try. Uh, Mount Everest, or or catching a bullet with your teeth, anything like that. I don't think you'd want to do any of that. Would you? Catching a bullet with your—that's a thing. Sure, sure. Pat and Teller do it every night. There's yeah. got to be a trick to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got really strong I, teeth. I hope so. <laughs> Nothing can go wrong now. Uh, coming up, oh, we're going to uh, hear from Willie G somewhere in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Hope the city hasn't swallowed him. Uh, plus, we have another world record. And we have a, an interesting thing from the world of international soccer that uh, you might find interesting, Josh. And a loose kangaroo. He's out there. We'll see if we can find him. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Even though we're not too much to look at, you can also watch the show on our YouTube channel. This is Bob and Tom 24-7.
Heading to Evansville, Indiana, it's our own Pat Godwin along with his guitar, and he's bringing Jeff Oske along with him. They'll be at Pat Coslett's Simplicity Furniture Shop tomorrow in Evansville, Indiana. Get your tickets now. Jeff Oske and Pat Godwin. Find them online, patgodwin.com, and at Jeff Oske on Instagram. Or check out Pat Coslett's Simplicity Furniture Shop in Evansville for tickets. Oh, sure, it's a furniture shop, but they've got a stage set up and seating for a great comedy show, one of a great venue, and also a great place where Jeff Oske says he'll be driving out of there with a brand new couch. That's the payment he's getting for showing up and being funny, and you can witness that live tomorrow at Pat Coslett's Simplicity Furniture Shop in Evansville, Indiana. How you doing, Evansville? And you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Good morning, I'm Mark Allison with a look at your Bob and Tom Entertainment News headlines. The last time Usher was on a Super Bowl stage, his hand got caught in a wire holding him. Usher says he nearly missed his mark when he performed with the Black Eyed Peas at the halftime show back in 2011. He's hoping for fewer problems this time around as the headliner. Usher says he's been working on a documentary about his journey to the Super Bowl that captures the moment he got the call offering him the gig all the way to when he walks off the stage on Sunday. Reba McIntyre says she's been singing the national anthem in the shower and in the car in advance of having to do it on Super Bowl Sunday. She says her boyfriend will ask her to sing it one more time and she reminds him, she knows the words pretty good by now. Post Malone says it's nerve-wracking to think he's about to sing America the Beautiful at the Super Bowl. And in country music, another reason to write a song, Jason Isbell and his wife, Amanda Shires, splitting up. Billboard reports Isbell filed divorce papers in December in Williamson County, Tennessee. They've been married 10 years and have an 8-year-old daughter. Shires is a member of Isbell's band, the 400 Unit. And that's a look at your entertainment news update. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. Well, he might take a train. He might take a plane. <laughs> but I bet Patrick Mahomes Sr.'s walking Sunday. I'm going with Kansas City. I'm Kansas City, wait and see. And if the 49ers win, I bet Taylor Swift starts dating Brock Purdy. Oh. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Put all my money on it. All, all, right. Right. all your money. <laughs> oh, Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, it's comedian Roy Wood Jr. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. You're not helping the show where you're going. We don't want to go. You think that you're a cut up. We wish that you would shut up because you're not helping the show. You're not helping the show where you're going. We don't want to go. Your moment of enjoyment will lead to unemployment Cause you're not helping the show Don't you see, Chick McGee Your career needs a plan B You're not helping the show Where you're going, we don't wanna go Bob and Tom are seething, it's time that you are leaving Cause you're not helping the show no, you're not helping the show. <laughs> Essential morning radio all day and all night. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom Radio. Uh, was he a good dad? I don't know. My dad grew up like pre-Oprah Winfrey. So mm -hmm. he's like an old school guy. He doesn't know how to like be like, look, son, I love you. You're not doing well in school. Let's work this out. All right. Instead... I'd be watching TV, and this is why he would convey that thought. He'd just come walking in and just go, study! <laughs> and then, and then, then he would walk out. Uh -huh. Like, that was going to motivate me. Like, uh, oh, gee, you know, Dad, I never looked never, at it that way. Never thought of it that yeah, way. Yeah, let me, uh, <laughs> ding. <laughs> the bell goes oh, off yeah. over your head. Oh, he was hilarious. Oh, oh study! Okay. He, he used to try to train the dog like that. We got this dog. <laughs> he was, like, trying to teach him how to sit. And it's like he's starting off calm. Like the first few minutes, he'd just be going, all right, sit. 
Come on, sit. <laughs> sit down. And like literally five minutes later, he's just like, you're going to get over there. You're going to sit down. The dog's literally like, you know, walking in circles, peeing on the rug. We're like, okay, I don't know what you want, but I know I'm not doing it. We have uh, also a Matt Fulcher on here. Yeah. And um, what do you do for fun? What do you, what do you, what do you Skateboard. Do? Um, I like to uh, I like to go in a liquor store, which <laughs> sounds fun, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I get like a miniature vodka, like a miniature vodka, like this big. And when I'm handing the guy the money, I'll be like, yo, I'm getting messed up tonight. <laughs> 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 I just got paid about this bitch. <laughs> Something fun to do. If you want to yeah. Try that. Oh yeah. Uh, 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 you know I haven't done that, but I'm Bob doing it tonight. Oh tonight. yeah. Uh-huh. Damn, uh-huh. do it tonight. Uh-huh. Yeah. Do it. It's Friday, man. That's right. right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. Bob and Tom. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Hello, hello, hello. I. We've just about talked about everything there is to talk about as far as the Super Bowl goes. We're, we're ready for the game, and you want to do your pick one more time, Chip? Right there at the bottom of the barrel. I like the Chiefs and the points. Specifically, I like the Chiefs to win in overtime, 36-30, and Mahomes, your MVP. Wow. Uh, that's his, if, if all that happens, that'll be his third Super Bowl. I saw a story, I should say a headline, and then I sent it to you guys. I don't, if I send you guys something, I never read the story because I want to be surprised right. by the info in there. Was it not worth talking about? I believe the headline was Andy Reid's top three cheese. Yeah, yeah, cheeseburgers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I read the article. Actually, uh, he uh, has said that, yes, his three favorite cheeseburgers are available in his, um, in and around Los Angeles, where he grew up. Oh, okay. And there's a famous uh, punt, pass, and kick video. Of the gigantic kid Andy? At a Los Angeles Rams game where Andy Reid is one of the participants. And it's like 10, 11, and 12-year-olds. But Andy is the size he is now then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just a little kid, though? Just, but no, no, he's, he's not a little kid. He's a... He's, oh, but you know what? He's young. Yes. He's six two and about two forty. Wow, it's, it's, it's great. But here are his top three hamburger places. Oh, okay, in Los Angeles. Number one is well, number three, uh, Hawkins House of Burgers. Oh, um, that I've once heard of once again, that's local to uh, Los Angeles, I guess. Oh, are these all going to be uh, nothing that we can relate to? Well, hang on a second. Okay. Number two is Tommy's World Famous Hamburgers. I've heard of Tommy's. Mm. Uh, and number one is In and Out Burger. Ah, there you go. All right. There you go. That's number one. I can see why That's you guys good, didn't yeah. jump right to that story. <laughs> <laughs> the old In-Out Burger, named after, of course, uh, the old In-Out from uh, the movie Clockwork Orange. Oh, a little bit of the Ultra Burger. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know what that reference is. Is there any oh, way? I know. Very unsettling. <laughs> is there any way that you're convinced that's where they got the name, aren't you? The old In-Out? Yeah. No. Oh, okay, good. Phew. They did not. Uh, here you go. Here's some international sports for you. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, international soccer officials are planning to test out a new blue card. Because you, uh, you got your red mm-hmm. and you got your uh, yellow. Yellow card, yeah. And why not blue, right? Yeah. Couldn't use green. <laughs> it will take... <laughs> it's hard to take in the field. Most of the players. <laughs> It will take players off the field for 10 minutes if you get a blue card. Whoa! Uh, according to uh, reports, the International Football Association Board, or IFAB, is set to approve the blue card trial. It indicates a penalization for offenses that feel more serious than those warranting a yellow card. But not serious enough to be ejected from the game. But less severe than those deserving of a red mm-hmm. card. Okay. Two blue cards in a match. This sounds like a complicated board game. Would result in a red card. Uh, gotcha. Throw the dice twice. And the... <laughs> it would mark the first new card for referees to issue since 1970 when yellow and red cards were introduced. Hmm. Boy, it's essentially a timeout. Well, yeah, this is what yeah. they use in classrooms for behavior. If you have to pull a card, you oh, get in trouble. Yeah. Depending on how pull bad you are, you have to pull a specific color. Oh, yeah. wow. Do you yeah. leave the classroom? Uh, sometimes if you get a red card, you got to go to the principal's office. You oh, sassin? Boy. You sassin, Pat? Yeah. <laughs> you look like a sasser. Yeah. He's I've full of sass. out of many classrooms. Yeah. The right. one time I got sent to the principal's office in grade school... <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing, and uh, it it did not help my cause. Uh, <laughs> did they 
<laughs> Did they ask you to stop laughing? Yeah, he said, I'm not going to continue until you stop laughing. And I, it, was, it was as awkward as anything. I was uh. get, in the chair just giggling for three minutes while he just sat there silently. <laughs> Are you a nervous laugher? I, that's that. That's what this was. Oh, okay. I was what so, had you done? We got in trouble. My buddy Chris and I got in trouble on the playground for some. I I think we we uh, drew. Uh, we, we sometimes would use chalk to make four square. Oh yeah. Uh, and I think we drew a penis and balls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Naturally. Right there on the playground. That's right. So much like what you do here during. <laughs> Boring sports <laughs> Ross. Yeah. Yeah, and boy, was my principal wrong? Where do you think that's going to get you? Well, I'll, I'll job. tell you. <laughs> a big, a big time job. Being hired is what. Uh, I got kicked out of uh, sex ed at Mercer Elementary School, along with my friend Bobby, mm -hmm. who's now a distinguished college professor, by the way. Were you in love with Bobby? No, no, no. We, I, do you remember those, um, how do I describe them? Um, remember those pull-down maps? Yeah. And they had a thing in which um, there was uh, there would be like six of them mm -hmm. together. Yeah. It was a rack. Yeah, it was a rack of maps, and you'd pull one down, uh -huh. and right. then they'd pull it back up. Yeah. Right. And then the next one would come, and they would pull that one down. I'm sure this has been replaced by uh, some kind of laptop with a projection thing. Mm -hmm. But our the the uh, sex ed teacher and we were all like in the fifth grade. Right. <laughs> And uh, but it was a very advanced school system, the okay. Shaker Heights school system. <laughs> oh, yeah, amazing. Course, yeah, famously advanced. It, well. it went That's uh, why you're doing high, highest SATs in the country. It, it went Yale, Harvard, uh, this school. Mercer was School. Talking yeah. about gotcha. Mercer. Um, uh, but it was Miss Custer, huh? who was an elderly uh, spinster. So who who better to teach sex ed? I guess sure. since it wasn't a religious school, they couldn't get a priest to do it. But uh, <laughs> nice when jokes. she when she pulled down, <laughs> no, she was a, she was ancient. I remember she pulled it down. Oh, the ancient she, yeah. she pulled down like the third the third one when she finally pulled it down, and it was just a giant, as you said earlier, schwanz. Mm. Mm. And uh, Bob, it was a picture or a drawing. A drawing. Oh. Yeah, Bobby and I found it hilarious, and we were asked to leave. <laughs> Sure, sure. So, yeah. But you didn't do it, or she you did, did do it? No, we left. We had to leave the room. We had to sit down the hallway. But they didn't put it up there. It was, oh, it was okay, a teaching okay. aid. No, it was a teaching oh, aid. It was an actual was laughing part of the thing. Yeah. And then, Sorry. You know, then you got, and then what you do is right. you take the male penis, and she pulls it down. <laughs> Are you kidding me? There's, a, <laughs> we, we lost it. Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't know that part of the story. What are you? Of course, you're going to do, yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah, everybody laughed. You're in the fifth grade. Was it yeah. just boys? No. It was. This oh, was. Uh, this okay. was co-ed. Co-ed. Okay. Did you have a crush on somebody in the class? I'm not sure. Probably. Wasn't that uh, what's her name, Darlene or Daphne or Marlene Klein? Marlene Klein. Very hot. It. Yeah. <laughs> that was your first crush? Holly Williams, gorgeous. <laughs> 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 I could go. I could probably identify everybody in my sixth grade. Class. Am I? Really? Yeah. Am I the only one who got uh, wax? I got three wax for tripping a girl on the uh, playground. Oh, and they spanked corporal punishment. Yeah, no, it was a paddle. He had yeah, whole uh, classic holes drilled in the paddle to pick up. No, yes. yes, holes drilled. Wow, absolutely. Yeah. In elementary yeah. school. Uh, seventh grade. Oh, so, did you enjoy? Yeah. it? I kind of liked it. No, yeah. of course. My not. principal had a paddle on the wall and would. Point, just point to it. Yeah. But I, I promise you, he never used it. I, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. But it was there, and then the, it worked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, these days, it would be in a glass case framed with a little hammer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the event of a lawsuit, break glass. Um, yeah. Is that sports? Boy, it's just um, I'm th sitting here thinking how nervous and sad I was that I got whacked, and how I really don't care. Isn't that interesting? Let me. Did it? Uh, did it take? You know what I mean? No. It's oh, okay. It's it's okay. okay. He just asked if I liked it. So, okay, now, oh, wait so, a minute. Are you saying you somebody wants to spank me? Is that what you're? The well, have you been a bad boy? Um, uh, coming up in sports? Coming yes. up in anything? What do you got over there, Jess? Uh, I've got kangaroos. <laughs> I've got Licking Hole Brewery. Licking Hole what? Brewery. Yeah. Just your favorite hole to be licked. <laughs> the, the Licking Nostril. Hole Brewery. Licking Hole Nostril. <laughs> Very good choice. There we go. Uh, we've got a world record about a bicycle coming up. You're okay. still not done? No. It's unbelievable. Isn't it? Good God. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, he, won't, he won't let me. A Valentine's Day tribute. Um, a real quick, uh, Patty G tomorrow with Jeff Oske. You guys are going to be in Evansville, Indiana at Pat Coslett's. Yep. Crackpots Comedy Club, Massillon, Ohio, Haywood Banks. Aren't that's, you going to put some... Tonight only. You're going to put some dinette sets together? Is that right? Yeah, that's what I do before the show. That's okay, exciting. Good. That's yeah. good. Okay. Uh, we're coming right back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Become a Bob and Tom VIP and get your Bob and Tom fix 24-7. Get all the info in the VIP area at bobandtom.com. This...
Would you, know, you like to know what Chip McGee does while commercials are playing? I sure would. Up and Tom show. Walk this way. Okay. Here you go. You're going into the restroom. Well, no, this happens sometimes. Sometimes you have to do quick decision making. It's locked. Right. Normally, mm -hmm. everyone who works here knows that they shouldn't be in the bathroom when we're in commercials. Of course. Because I might have to use the bathroom. Number and one. I can't use the bathroom any other time than when we're in commercials. Number one or number two? I'd rather not say. Oh. Well. Hello. Hang on. Your name, please? Chris. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> you taught him his lesson. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Refreshing. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did I fire him? Yeah. Why aren't you gone? Get your sh. Because he has no real power here. <sighs> I knew I had no power, but it still hurts when I hear it out loud. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me, is right here. I could easily be doing this. We we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Just, I'm just getting ready. Oh, 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 there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, seven, eight, eighteen wheels on a big rig. Yeah, buddy, here we go. Oh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, seven, eight, eighteen wheels on a big rig. And they're rolling, 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 rolling. Okay, let's back them up. Here we go. Oh, there's 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 4, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wheels on a big rig. Okay, the even numbers. Oh, there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Wheels on a big rig. And they're rolling, 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 rolling. Okay, by one and a half. Here we go. Uh-oh. Oh, there's one and a half, half three, three, four and a half, half, six, half, half, six seven and a half, nine, <laughs> uh, ten, ten and a half, 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 Oh, there's one, three, five, seven, seven, eleven, on a big rig, and they're rolling, 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 rolling. Okay, Roman numeral. I'm here. I'm ready for this one. All right, go. Oh, there's I, 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 V, 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 I, V, I, I, V, I, 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 X, 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 I, X, I, I, X, I, 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 X, I, V, X, V, X, V, I, X, V, I, I, X, V, I, 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 wheels on a big rig. Yes, very good. Roman, 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 Roman. Okay, Roman numerals backwards. Oh, Here we go. No. No. Oh, there's X V I I I X V I I X V I X V X I V X I I I X I I X I X I X V I I I V I I V I V I V I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I <laughs> Shut up and bring it. 
My dad, the big douche bear. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bob and Tom 24-7. Comedy, guess, Bob and Tom exclusives. And it's here on the internet. Bob and Tom 24-7. We're talking about um, those encounters that you have and what uh, things are spoken. We've heard, for example, this morning, Jake, you want to review a couple of things? Um, choke me, you dirty bastard. I'm going to be going like a freight train. Uh, the other one woman screeched like an owl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's go to line one. Okay. Yeah. Morning, Bob and Tom show. Hello. Hi, who's this? This is Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Hi. Uh, what have you heard or said, Jenny? What have I heard? I've heard, uh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Could you do that again, Jenny? That made my morning. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm, I'm talking about. about. I need that yep. isolated for my sports intro. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. That is so <laughs> funny. Uh -huh. With, do it again. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, listen, hey, Jenny, I'll tell you what I sound like when I make love to a woman. Yeah. I'm actually pretty bad at it. I call it making like. When I make like to a woman, I sound like a very scared man who's crossing a very thin sheet of ice. <laughs> And all he's trying to do is get to the side alive. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sounds something like this. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so scared. I can do this. Oh thank god, that's over. With. Oh my god, I have to lay down. That's Woo! hot. Yeah, that's hot. Hi, you're listening to Bob Q95. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show at the news desk. It's Jess Hooker. Hello. There's Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick. He's in the performance room. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. The I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> Drew Powell coming up. We'll talk with our buddy Drew. Also, Willie G checking in from Las Vegas. And Jeff Hoske with news we failed to mention. I'm Chick. And here's Tom. Yes, got a, Tom. Got a request here. All right. Uh, people sometimes ask, what's it like behind the scenes here? What's it like being in the building? Oh, Sucks. You don't want to know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Rough. And uh, Jess Hooker's been wandering the hallways. Did you start as an intern here? I did, and uh, 22 years ago. 22 years ago, wow. Yeah. And uh, one of the first things you learn uh, <laughs> is uh, if you're walking down the hallway, and you, you can get snagged. And suddenly your voice becomes part of something. Uh -oh. Damn it. And uh, I didn't. It's not my you, idea. You knew it was coming. Uh. We have a request for Jess's first appearance on the Bob and Tom show. Now, by way of background, um, you are working um, with uh, the comedian Tammy Pescatelli on this particular piece. I am. Uh-huh. And this was, uh, I believe you were asked to do an accent. I was. Now, I'm not sure um, what the proposal was or what you came up with. <laughs> But, um, yeah, Dean asked me to come in, and uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But he he tried to coach me. He really did. I just was. He's bad. excellent. I, very he's good. a great coach. I was a bad student. Okay, well, let's just give this. This is once again your first. This is twenty two years ago. This is your first. Uh, your first shot at uh, radio fame. Here it is. Hi, Tammy. How are things in the produce department today? No, that's you. That's you, that's you talking. That is. Uh, that's, uh, I'm, 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 hi, Tammy. How are things in the produce department? Oh, my God. Oh, we can't have this. <laughs> okay, okay. Now that ends now. Okay. No, that's got to stop right now. Here, here, here it comes. Hi, Tammy. How are things in the produce department today? To be honest, Maria, I'm not feeling well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Are you sick? <laughs> Actually, I'm constipated. Constipation. It's a terrible feeling. Now, who the hell's that? But don't take those nasty tasting laxatives or drink those putrid fiber oh drinks. God. Now, thanks to Roberto y Tomas Foods, you can become regular while enjoying a tasty snack. Here's something you should try, Tammy. A tortilla chip? I don't think so, Maria. I'm not really feeling very hungry. Oh, but this is a different snack chip, Tammy. It promotes regularity. What are they called? Cheetos. <laughs> Cheetos? That's right. Cheetos. And Cheetos can have you back to feeling like your normal self again within hours. Eat a handful before going to bed. Oh, and let Cheetos work their magic overnight. Feeling better today, Tammy? I sure am. Thanks to you and Cheetos. <laughs> they work, don't they? Do they ever? Cheetos taste great and works fast. I had a few more on the way out of the house this morning and, uh... uh Oh, 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 
chips. <laughs> Clean up. <laughs> Cheetos. The snack chip that relieves constipation. Cheetos. In three great flavors. Including cool stool ranch. Cut in nacho cheese. And of course, very regular. Try Cheetos today. <laughs> take a uh, take a Cheetos. Um, thank you very much. That was your first appearance. Uh, that was. So many, so many years ago. The uh, very first one. Yeah. Um, I don't and know. then uh, I think I did Chick McGee for Congress after that. Yes. Yeah. I, rep I uh, represented the masturbation party. Yeah. Oh, do we have that? I'd like to hear that. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Masturbation should not be a crime. Uh, okay. That was my platform. Yeah. Um, now, I'll remind everybody that Mr. Godwin, uh, tomorrow night, is that yeah. correct? Pat Coslitz, Evansville, Indiana, USA. Tonight, Maslin, Ohio, it's Crackpots and uh, Haywood Banks. And uh, our friend Kostaki Economopoulos, Hastings, Nebraska, at the auditorium tonight. And then uh, got a lot of other cool stuff coming up I want to get to, but... Uh, Right now, we complete the sports cast. Is that correct? Oh, Stupid Jesus. world record. Opinions vary, but <laughs> here we go. A man from Latvia has broken the Guinness World Record for the most countries visited in 24 hours by bicycle. You blame him? He's from Latvia. Get me out of here. He says. That's true. Anything. Okay. I don't know. It could be a beautiful place. I, know. I wouldn't be able to point that out on a map. Yeah. Chris Janis Rating, uh, Rating, uh, uh, cycled through a total of nine countries in a day to beat the previous record of eight. That's crazy. And claim the title. Yeah, but all the countries are right there together. Yeah, they're real small. Eight, and, yeah. and they're tiny. Yeah, you couldn't, like, do that. Well, I started in San Antonio, Texas and yeah. did ten states. No. It took me a year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, he's 39 years old, started off near Italy's northern border and traveled 444 miles before completing his journey in the Netherlands. Pretty impressive. Uh, 40, uh, 24 hours, yeah. Uh, he went to Italy, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, Austria, Germany, France, Luxembourg, and Belgium, and finally the yeah. Netherlands. Who, I, I had no idea. Lich Liechtenstein and Luxembourg I, weren't cities and countries. Those yeah. are those are so, some of them are rather tiny. I'm horrible at geography. Yeah, me too. I, I, need, I really need to study up. He said the hardest part of the record was persevering through the rain, which poured for over ten of the twenty-four hours. Oh. <laughs> Could be worse. Could be raining. <laughs> the shortest leg was his trip to Austria, where he covered just two-thirds of a mile before crossing the German border. He spent slightly more uh, time in Austria than he uh, initially planned, though, as he lost five precious minutes replacing a punctured tire. Ah. The longest leg was uh, the trip in Germany. He cycled over 124 miles, almost a third of his entire route. Before entering France. Remember when you would ride a bike and your chain would come off and you'd go, well, I need a new bike. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. This is impossible. And then you, the neighbor kid showed you the trick. The where stick. Yes, you, as soon as you learned. You pedal when you put the chain on a part <laughs> yeah. way and you pedal it around. Like, oh, my God, that's genius. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, a, a nice record. That's kind of cool, don't you think? Yes, a little lesson in, cool. lesson in geography. <laughs> we yeah. can all think of all the different languages he was able to experience. 444 miles. People screaming at him to get out of their way in right. Italian. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah he, got, he got cussed uh, at yeah. in eight different languages. Yeah, okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, now, you mentioned Liechtenstein. Yes. Which actually is a perfect segue into a story we have at the news desk about a place in Virginia... The Licking Hole Brewery. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> no, it gets better. That's how you order them, though. I'll have a blah, 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 blah. <laughs> In Goochland, Virginia. Goochland, Goochland. Virginia. Yeah. I've mm. heard of that. Goochland. Gooch. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, if you're if you're Licking Hole in Goochland, <laughs> <laughs> pink eye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying. Oh, no? okay. Well, the Licking Hole Brewery yeah. has closed. Oh. While the owner deals with some health issues. Yeah, I told you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the Licking Hole Creek Craft Brewery ceased operation late last month on what owner and CEO Lisa Reynolds Brotherton said was a temporary basis. Brotherton told Richmond Biz Sense that following a winter hibernation, she hopes to reopen Licking Hole in the spring or summer. Oh. <laughs> 
named for the nearby Little Licking Hole Creek. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> the brewery opened in 2013 on over 200 acres. So you'd rather have the big Gooch Land hole? countryside. I'd rather have the of age looking. Okay. <laughs> I'm more uh, shocked with Gooch Land. Really? What a cool name. Hope they have t-shirts and everything. Uh, yeah. Oh, they got lots of t-shirts. If they do, oh, Chick will get one. Pat, yeah. you like uh, the Licking Hole Gooch? I think it's funny, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know if I like it personally, but I think it's funny. Do you have a song about Gooch Land? I have a song about this, yeah. Absolutely. You do? You yeah. do? Do we have time for it now? Yeah, sure. Okay, here we go. Gooch Land. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, this is about just being numb uh, to the names of towns if you're a trucker or a comedian and you're on the road. It's called Trucker Love, Love on the Road, My Main Squeeze. <laughs> wow. I'm on the road, my girl's in Bangor, Maine. I miss her, but must be strong. But when I'm done, it's off I go from Dick Shooter, Idaho. I'll drive to Bangor all night long. <laughs> First, it's Lacole Creek into Cooter, Missouri, on the big bone down the old dirt road. All real names of cities. It's telecom, <laughs> dick, ding dong, Felchville, drop a load, then drive to Banger all night long. Pretty soon I'm gonna get lucky, but I gotta eat something first in Beaver Lick, Kentucky. I told my baby maybe real soon I'll get to Banger by the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> My main squeeze, I'm a rambling man. Geographically, we're all wrong. I had to get out of that hooker, Oklahoma. Now I'll drive to Banger all night long. Then we're gonna make sweet, sweet love. She's my precious little angel sent from heaven above. I'm gonna spoon and cuddle my turtle dove after I get to banger. <laughs> uh, uh, All real town. I've heard a lot that. of them. Where's Dick Shooter? Dick Shooter, Idaho. Dick Shooter, Idaho? Yeah. Mm. Felchville, real town. Wow. Is there a high school in Dick Shooter? It's got to be. Oh, it can't Lord. be Dick Shooter. Dick, Dick Shooter, Shooter High School, though. Mm -hmm. Dick Shooter What would the mascot be? I don't... Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> <laughs> this is Dick Shooter Seeds. <laughs> Give it up. We are Dick Shooter Seeds. And now... Here they come. The Dick Shooter Flagellating here. around the field. <laughs> Good Lord. Well, thank you, Pat. That was great. Once again, Pat, uh, Patty G and uh, Jeff Oskey tomorrow night. Uh, Pat Coslitz, USA, Evansville, Indiana. Uh, right now, I want to talk about... Uh, Sex? Uh, uh, no. Oh, baby. Thank you, thank you very much. Baby. Uh, um, uh, we're going to talk with uh, Willie G, by the way, in about 45 minutes from Vegas. See if the city has swallowed him. Actor Drew Powell is going to be joining us. He's uh, currently uh, doing some stuff with Curb Your Enthusiasm. Um, uh, I want to talk about HelloFresh. HelloFresh uh, has a pretty good idea to get the, rid of the food blahs. If you're uh, sick of the stuff you're eating, it's the same old thing. It's like Groundhog Day in your food life. Get rid of those blahs with some new flavors. HelloFresh has over 45 recipes on the menu each week. Options um, inspired by cuisine all over the world, by the way. And they also have stuff, let's say you're doing a low-calorie thing or a low-carb thing or a, a vegan thing. They're going to have stuff that's going to work for you. Dozens of chef-curated recipes. How does it work? Well, they do the shopping. And uh, they measure everything, so you just put it together. It's, a, it's essentially a, a, a very gourmet-level meal kit from HelloFresh. And um, uh, what, what, what are you working on over there? Do you have something that you were doing? Uh, I know that, yeah. Jess, uh, you were actually making some stuff from HelloFresh for us just a few days ago. Yeah, we had the Gouda Vibes burger with the tomato onion jam and the potato wedges that you can also sub for broccoli if you're watching your carbs. Oh, my goodness. There you go. There yeah. you go. Hello Fresh. Thank you very much. Uh, by the way, free breakfast for life while you keep that subscription active is the new thing. How do you access that? Will you uh, remember this code, BT Show Free? That's HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. One free breakfast item in each box uh, as you keep that subscription active. See what I'm talking about. Check out the menu. HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. That's HelloFresh dot com slash BT show free. Make your life more exciting and have great quality food, healthy food, whatever you want, even comfort food. It's all there. HelloFresh.com slash BT show free. Coming up, we have um well if you're in Alabama having trouble getting one of your radio stations because someone stole the radio tower. <laughs> it's kind of a problem. Okay. Uh this is the Bob and Tom show. Bob and Tom twenty four seven.
Okay, let's go see Bob and Tom. Yeah! You can't say it on the air. Trust me, not the way you want to do it. You, we no, no, I've no, been no. over this a hundred times. No, if you say that, we're going to get a fine. We're not going to get a fine. The average idiot's going to perceive it as the noun. No, you, no, no, no. We can't do that. You can't say that on the air. It has no meaning as a verb, whereas my term can be taken two ways. That's why the no. joke has a joke. No, you can't do that. Kids, let, let me just ask you this. Am I right? The only way to make this joke funny, you've got to use the word cornhole. Here in the Bob and Tom program, we have been asking you for uh, questions you get all the time. If About you your job? Yeah. Dear Bob and Tom, I work at the service desk of Automotive. Uh -huh. Customers call in and say, hey, the check engine light came on. What's wrong with my car? Ah, well, there you go. I want to always say, I don't know, put your car on the phone. Let me talk to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How you feeling? Mm -hmm. Dear Bob and Tom, my name is James Brown. I'm <laughs> really getting tired of people saying, so, do you feel good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll Dear bet. Bob and Tom, uh -huh. my name is Brandy. Yes, I am, I am sick, sick of people bit. asking me if <laughs> I am a, a fine, fine girl. girl. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. If you've got questions you're tired of, we'd like to hear from you. Uh, yep. Okay, that's one of my favorite songs. I love that song. Oh, Brandy? Yes. Brandy, you're a fine girl? Yes. What a I'll good wife it. you would be. Yes. But my love, my uh, life... But, is, and my love of my lady is, is the sea. Yeah. Do 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 now, why do you like that song? Because is know. that the kind of relationship you want where that's some or the, the man who loves you but he has to leave for a long Right, he comes in, gets the good loving, and then he leaves you alone for a month at a time. <laughs> it's, a lo it's a great way to keep a, a relationship yeah. together. Here it, is. Here it is, kids. Yeah. You say it, it happens. Oh, yeah. Come on, Christy, sing along. Really well. A hundred ships a day, lonely sailors <laughs> pass the time away and talk about their homes. Come on, everybody. There's a girl ah. in a warmer town, and she works laying, laying, laying whiskey down. down. To say brandy, fetching all around. She serves them whiskey and wine. On the side, she says brandy. <laughs> How do you think Brandy? Hey. How do you think Brandy got to own the bar? <laughs> she wears a braided chain made of the finest silver, silver oh, from the north of Spain. Oh, I got uh, locket that bears yes. the, the name, name of uh, the man and that the Brandy, Brandy loves. loves. She uh, killed and buried <laughs> out behind the bar. <laughs> Hello there, it's Ed from Ed Septic and Sewage. I'm here at this poor SOB's house. He got quoted $20,000 for a new system. I'm doing that same system for him, $500. I know what you're thinking. Ed, how can you do it so cheap? Well, first of all, this machine, stolen. That saves me a ton of money. Secondly, I'm not licensed or bonded. That saves me tens of thousands of dollars a year. So if you need a cheap septic, call me, Ed, Ed Septic. But thank you, Ed Septic. Call Ed Septic at the number below. From Ed Septic. Uh, Paul, you uh, kind of came off the road as a comedian. Uh, many years ago, when you started doing the TBS show, how many? We started in '95, so really, 14 years. Wow, doing it. But you occasionally go back out on the road and do I do. Stand -up. I do. I took a little time off uh, the last couple of years, but now I'm uh, I'm getting back out there. You know, mm -hmm. it can it can kind of burn you out being being on the road. Sure. But, you know, I always see stuff on the road that you just don't see anywhere else, and it just makes you laugh. And, and mm -hmm. I was staying at this uh, this uh, hotel and uh, one of my club dates. And uh, I go down to the to the jacuzzi, uh, mm -hmm. and there's a sign above the jacuzzi that says, "No one shall jump or dive into the jacuzzi." 
Now, if you're going to dive <laughs> headfirst into a jacuzzi, are you really going to be swayed by the it's time to eat and drink? There's fruitcake. That's a bit of a disappointment. Oh, yeah. yeah. You'd think that would be better. Fruit, good. Right. Cake, great. Right. Fruitcake, nasty crap. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Have you tried fruitcake? I don't even think that's fruit in there. You're like, when is that a Skittle? <laughs> the man in the studio with us is comedian Greg Hahn. Have you ever driven in a uh, Corvette? What do you I mean, doing? I'm a little bit tall for the vet. Are you, you really? Was a right. Big car. Yeah. Put yeah. the seat back. That's an idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm six four. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Let's I got a big. I got a gigantic. I got a huge SUV. Oh, I really? just look at the rear view, thinking I got to get some friends. <laughs> <laughs> rows and rows of seats. Nobody in them. I just go from gas station to gas station. Hey, want a ride? Yeah. Tell them about your three point plan for success, Greg. What is that? Where what? I bought the car is too expensive. Right. My house is too expensive. Right. Knock up a fat girl. <laughs> I'm out of it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Mr. Success. Yeah. That's Greg Hahn. <laughs> Hi, this is Rodney King. What? <laughs> <laughs> totally missed it. Want to wake up there, uh, Edison? Is it me? Yeah. Is this uh, my turn? Okay, I'll, uh, never mind. I'll take over. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Here's Tom. Uh, thank you very much. A um, <laughs> couple things here. Uh, coming up, we're going to talk with Willie G in Vegas. The pre-Super Bowl action. See what he's doing. Um, uh, no, we just had a, an odd story out of uh, Virginia. There is a brewery there called the Licking Hole Brewery, and it's in Goochland. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, oh, well, we're we're being interrupted. Okay, very good. Um, it's it's now time for. Whoa. Are you still drinking beer? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Am I on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My bad. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Look up at the big screen. There's Oscar. Is he still drinking beer? He still works here, right? Uh, okay. I, uh, cracked open a cold one. And, well, it's more of a lukewarm one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I got to pick up the kids from school. So uh, okay. Uh, time right. for uh, news we failed to mention? That's right. We give you a lot of the news each week, Tom, but we don't give you all the news. So I'm here to give you the news that we... Failed to mention. Now, here's Jeff Aske with what you failed to mention news. Pew, 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 pew. I'm excited. Uh, we have a new sponsor at the news desk this week, Larry's Loan Sharking. You need money quick and your family don't trust you? Give Larry <laughs> the Loan Sharker call. Whether it's 20 bucks or $20,000, Larry's Loan Sharking will have you looking over your shoulder for the foreseeable future. <laughs> There's no money. They won't loan you. That's Larry's Loan Sharking. Oh. Hey, we had a dog that ate $4,000 in cash. Ooh. Well, you failed to mention that's nothing. A friend of mine had a dog eat $8,000 in socks. Actually, <laughs> it was just two socks. That's what it costs to have them removed from their stomach. Oh, yeah, been there. Yeah. Been there. Yeah, you're the friend. Uh, <laughs> there's a new AI dog door that can recognize your pet and keep out unwanted visitors. What you failed to mention, I need one of these for my front door to keep out my kids' friends. <laughs> oh, Sticky Timmy's here? <laughs> he can wait on the front porch for you. Sticky Timmy. <laughs> oh, a mom discovered a dangerous snake in her child's underwear drawer. Oh. What you failed to mention, kid, you're doing it all wrong. You're supposed to hide your weed in your underwear drawer, <laughs> not your dangerous snakes. Yeah. Get it right, you dummy. True. Uh, studies show that smoking marijuana makes working out more enjoyable. Uh, what you failed to mention, last time I tried doing that, Planet Fitness just called the cops on me. Yeah. <laughs> I like this casual yeah. approach. He's Seen been adopting this. Oh, I've yeah. given up a long time. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I, li I like, yeah, it's yeah. like uh, around uh, a, a like fireplace it. with mm -hmm. Jeff Oscar. Yeah, yeah. Nice. I kind of wish all news was like this. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The town council has decided to rename <laughs> Poopanot Court a very unfortunate street name. <laughs> what you failed to mention, its new name, Poopanut Place. <laughs> <laughs> Place. Yes, sir. A man was arrested uh, for uh, taping fish to ATMs all over town. <laughs> what you failed to mention, hey, Carpe Diem. <laughs> <laughs> he sees, mm. sees the fish. Uh, right, yes. carp. Yeah, right. Bathroom mirrors are being removed from schools in Florida. What well, you failed to mention, yeah, just toss them over there with the books. <laughs> <laughs> are they flammable? <laughs> a woman uh, wow. who was throwing away her trash fell into the dumpster, was then compacted multiple times, and still lived. <laughs> what you failed to mention, in five years, we'll see her on the show Hoarders. 
<laughs> She's never throwing another thing away ever, ever again. Uh, and finally, thank God, uh, residents in one quiet uh, New York neighborhood have been dealing with several instances of fecal matter raining from the sky and hitting several of their homes. Oh. Uh, what you failed to mention, authorities uh, are blaming either a uh, plane flying overhead or the uh, farmer down the street's new trevichet. <laughs> <laughs> New Trevishay. <laughs> nope, Can't still didn't help it. I'm Jeff Oskay, and this has been the news I wished I wouldn't have mentioned. <laughs> now, he mentioned the, um, what was it, the, 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 the place they changed the name. Um, that unfortunate name. Poopanot. Poop, Poopanot. But uh, you just had the story about the Licking Hole Brewery. Yes. In Goochland, Virginia. Right. Then, Pat, you sang a song. Uh, and you mentioned many of the uh, towns with unusual names. Yeah. And uh, I'd never heard of uh, the one that was prominent in that, which was uh, Dick Shooter, Idaho. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I looked it up. And uh, I'll tell you what, this is a gorgeous part of the country. I'm looking at a photograph of the Dick Shooter Creek. There is something about Idaho where the the atmosphere the, the it seems crisper and it's cleaner. Lovely. I don't know what it is. Yeah, there's it really this, is. A, this uh, uh, Dick Shooter Creek flows south and cuts a narrow, deep gorge through a rolling plateau. Just mm. gorgeous. Have you seen Dick Shooter Geyser? It's uh, <laughs> is, that a, is, that, is that one of your erotic it's films? Uh, Old Faithful, right? That's oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Did you? Know, I was reading this article about uh, the because I know you're a big cook. The best fried bologna sandwich. And, okay. Yeah, and it's from a place. I'm not kidding. Called Waldo, Ohio. Okay. And I said to myself, "Where's Waldo?" <laughs> it's in Ohio. <laughs> huh? I've yeah. never had fried bologna. Oh. Yeah? Do you good guys? Stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. good. It's, good. It's, yeah. Uh, very, very it's, good. it's worth a stop. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Put a mustard on there. Yeah? All right. It's delicious. Do you yeah. toast your bread? Oh, you can. Yeah? You can. I've had it both ways. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I like the plain, just white bread. Yeah. Wonder, Wonder white bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I go mayonnaise. I don't go mustard. Yeah. There's a few local restaurants, too, that serve uh, fried bologna sandwiches. Oh. Real thick cut. Delicious. Nice. Oh, yeah. It's um, the GNR Tavern on Marion Street in Waldo, Ohio, just off Route 23. Wow, sounds good. There's a nice photo. It looks, it's almost like a burger. It's a big, thick, looks like a, looks like a three-quarter inch thick slice of bologna. Hmm. Yummy. Looks very nice. Looks just, just delicious. But uh, how about that? Hmm. Nominated for the best fried bologna in the Maybe world. Maybe I'll make a road trip. Yeah, sounds good. You ever heard bologna referred to as hot dog pancakes? Yes. That's funny. Flat flat hot dogs, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hot dog pancakes. <laughs> Is that right? And you know how to keep them from uh, doming up, don't you? I don't. You don't? I don't. Yeah. Have you, have you yes, you do. I've, I've never fried bologna. <laughs> don't I don't know. He does this story every few months. <laughs> it's, it's been 17 months, Ace. I, keep, <laughs> <laughs> I mark it over here. Have you met the uh, grateful Ace Cosby? Uh -huh. Yeah, Yeah, there he is. Okay, say so you've got your circular bologna. Sure. You make a slice north, south, east, and west about... Okay. About Our bologna half, is the half, best. Oh, three quarters okay. of an inch. Yep. That'll prevent it from doming up. Good to know. Uh, it's incredibly handy. That way it cooks yeah. evenly. You're I welcome. I appreciate it. Thank That's you, Tom. Science. That's Waldo. how it's done, Ace. Waldo. I like when it domes up. Oh, you do? Uh, yeah, it's cool. I'm going to say Waldo's like an hour, hour 15 uh, north of Columbus on Route 23, which is uh, High Street. Yep. You guys want to go with me? We all go together? Go Sounds to great. <laughs> GNR Tavern. <laughs> Get us some bologna sandwich. Jammed us some guns and roses the yeah. whole way. Yeah. Yes, I think we have to. Okay. Heck yeah. Uh, now, we return to the news desk. There's Jess Hooker sitting in for Christy Lee. What's happening over that way? The owner of an Alabama radio station says thieves have stolen his 200-foot-tall radio tower. Well, how the heck did that happen? Brett Elmore, owner of WJLX. Yeah, the X, X rocks, X rocks, JLX rocks. Jalax. Rocks. And Jasper. Jasper rocks. <laughs> yes, sir, we know. We're just, hey, we're just trying to figure out what happened to your no, radio no, tower. Jasper rocks. We, we get it, but who, did you see anyone? Uh, where's our tower? What happened? <laughs> he told AL.com that he was informed of the theft when landscapers went to clean up the area. 
a small transmitter building had also been vandalized and the transmitter was taken. I wow. Be, I kind of hard to broadcast. No transmitter, no tower. No. I could be kicked off the air right now about the landscapers coming in to report. <laughs> Please don't. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. No I, know, I know what your lame joke's going to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Elmore said it's one thing to break into the building and steal the transmitter, but yep. it's another thing to steal the 200-foot tower. That's really a feat. Yeah, the tower. I know the motive, obviously. What, what was the motive? Oh, uh, some hill jack's going to put that in his trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Next door to his trailer, so we can pick up the big game this weekend. Oh. No, and somebody's getting married, and they wanted to uh, be confident in a good good reception. <laughs> yes, oh, yes. Uh, the tower was for tricky. the station's <laughs> AM site. AM X X rocks on the air. Yeah, we know, sir. We're just looking for the culprits. Yeah. Rocket X. Uh, you're very. I know, maybe they're making a jungle gym out of it for the kids. A maybe tall one. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the station is not on the air at this time. How are you gonna fence that? Yeah, what are you will? doing? How? What? What? Maybe they tipped it over to put a new light on it. <laughs> oh, that is now, how they changed those. There's yeah. an idea. You, you'd need a really long <laughs> or a really tall truck, wouldn't you? <laughs> So yes. steal a radio antenna? I think so. Holy heck. You could just drag it. You I'm get guessing some... a 200 foot rural Alabama AM. I'm guessing it probably. How long was it missing before someone noticed? Yeah. A lot yeah. of very old country music. Yeah. Oh, I bet it's awesome. I'd like so it. I love, oh. love it. Well, I, I do. Oh, well, no. I'm a part time guy. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. Well, the part time guy. Oh, hell, that's a hit. I like oh, it. that's not real? No. Oh, uh -uh. nice job. That, that is a hit. That good. <laughs> what else you got? I'm a part-time baby. Oh, this is good. And on socially All along the radio tower. <laughs> All along the radio tower with my part-time boy. Okay. <laughs> and my part-time guy. All right. Uh, take it, Dave. Take it, Pat. He's a part-time boy. <laughs> with a part-time part guy. Hey, keep this up. You're both going to be uh, no time. <laughs> What? Next. Okay. Sheriff's deputies in Florida corralled. Sheriff's deputies? <laughs> Sheriff's deputies. We're fucking turned back time. Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. Anything stop them. That's what they call it. He's a part. <laughs> Sheriff's deputies in Florida corralled an on-the-loose kangaroo at a Tampa area apartment complex. Oh, my God. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office responded to the complex where the animal was contained within the fenced-off pool area. Where was it? It's apartment. <laughs> <laughs> apartment. It's apartment complex. Helicopter footage shows the animal hopping around the complex's pool. Deputies were able to figure out who the animal's owner was and reunite them after checking for proper registration. You know who I bet this belongs to? <laughs> Kangaroo Ted. <laughs> Remember Kangaroo Ted? He's probably there, right? That's what they call him, Tom. It's Kangaroo Ted. So. I'm confused. Which part? I bet this is Kangaroo Ted's Kangaroo. Yeah. How did they? How did they know who it belonged to? Because his name's Kangaroo Ted. <laughs> I, I I don't. I guess he had it registered. He he was properly registered as a kangaroo owner, and oh, so they were the, able to track the, him down. Does the kangaroo carry his registration in his pocket? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they, in his wallet. Right, He's got over. it to me. Yeah. Let me see your registration. That's one of my favorite Hollywood <laughs> stories is that the movie Kangaroo Jack, mm -hmm. remember when that came out? Mm -hmm. the, the kangaroo was barely in it, I guess, and they showed it to executives, and they said, the best part about this movie is the kangaroo. <laughs> we want more kangaroo, and they put more kangaroo in it. Was it a real kangaroo? Uh, no. I a, believe it's CGI. CGI. Oh, okay. Have you they, seen it? No. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. Really? I think uh, what's-his-face is in it. Cuba Gooding Jr.? And, and uh, Re Rebecca Romaine's Yeah, and, Chris... Yeah. Or, oh, Jerry O'Donnell. Jerry O'Connell. Jerry O'Connell, yeah. yeah. But we, need, I, we want more kangaroo. <laughs> All right. Oh, He's nice. adorable. He talked and everything. He played basketball. As I I've got to watch it. Oh, yeah, you have So to. a loose kangaroo in Florida hanging out of the pool. Yeah, actually, when I was driving in, I heard the the call in, the 911 call of the woman saying, hey, there's there's a kangaroo at our pool. <laughs> well, the fact they have helicopter footage, they, they took this very seriously. <laughs> they did. Okay, well. Mm -mm. Well, that's got to be something. You hear a helicopter overhead, and it's not anyone running from the... It's a kangaroo loose in your neighborhood. <laughs> what the hell? Have you ever seen a kangaroo in real life? No, I haven't. Yes. Yeah? Of course. Yeah. Was it a zoo? Yeah. Of, of course. Yeah, I guess I have. You're right. But they they're have, so muscular. I know. It's scary. They have chests like grown men. Yeah, they're yeah. Kind of cut up. And they do, they do approach... I mean, they confront you. 
is what kangaroos do that bother me. They're right, right in my chest. Hey, pal. <laughs> right in you your can, face. You can oh, look what we got here. Yeah, yeah, you can almost hear them. What's your problem? <laughs> yeah. Trying to pick a fight. That's right. Yeah. Next. Okay. Oh, boy. Just in time just for Valentine's a, just Day. Just a rude band. We, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I, you know, they, they, they go silent. The state changes. <laughs> change. How about oozing black eggs for Valentine's Day? What, is, what are they? Scientists have discovered mysterious oozing black eggs in the abyss of the Pacific Ocean. They burn them. According to Science Alert. You guys subscribe to that? Science Alert! <laughs> you know, don't burn them. You know why? Why? They're filled with nougat. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Comes from. By the way, what the hell is nougat? Delicious. Uh, That's yeah, what it is. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> is it, is, is it, what is it, sugarized sugar? Yeah, it's like caramel, basically. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah. Sugar. Marine researchers operating a remote operated vehicle in an ocean trench spotted the strange black spheres uh, attached to the rocks. What could this be? Upon further examination in a lab, they found that each cocoon an unnamed species of flatworm is what was there. Oh, oh my lord! An unknown a flatworm. Yeah. Well, they didn't see the movie Alien. One of these guys is yeah. going to be at dinner one night. I think I've got an upset stomach. You know what? I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Some critter comes flying out his belly. Well. That- yeah. The findings were published in the Journal of Biology Letters. Oh, wow. that's a great magazine. Mm-hmm. Oozing black eggs. Ew. Four miles deep. That's crazy. It mm. sounds scary. Well, thank you very much. A little bit of science this morning. Yeah. Now, um, if you don't want to eat oozing black eggs, <laughs> you might want to eat something much more delicious. And, of course, I'm talking about Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese. Josh, tell me more. I'd love to. A big thank you to everybody who's checked out Gardner'sWisconsinCheese.com and ordered some things. Your letters... Uh, are very appreciated, and man, we really appreciate you supporting such a great company. Artisan Meats Quality Cheese and the freshest curds you've ever tasted. They're famous squeaky curds made fresh in the morning, most often delivered right to your doorstep in only about 48 hours, and that is nationwide. Oh, what? what's this? New flavor alert. No! New flavor alert. That's right. I don't know if you guys heard, but there's a new flavor alert. <laughs> Gardner's has just... <laughs> 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 New flavor alert. New flavor alert. They've just released their limited edition blazing Cajun flavored cheese curds. New flavor alert. New flavor alert special edition. Go ahead. Yes. Celebrate Mardi Gras with spicy flavors of red and black peppers and the savory aromatics of garlic and paprika. What are you waiting for? They're only available until the 13th of February. That's Fat Tuesday. Fat, 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 fat. These blazing Cajun cheese curds are a limited time. You've got to check them out. Don't miss out. Get them before they're gone Tuesday. You have to try Gardner's oven-baked cheese as well. It arrives pre-baked. You heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, air fry it, microwave it. Delicious flavors from bacon oven-baked cheese to their newest jalapeno. If you want to try a little bit of everything, check this out. It's brand new, the Bob and Tom Sampler Package. It's the perfect intro to all of Gardner's most beloved products. This includes that eight-year-old super sharp cheddar that's my favorite. Teriyaki meat sticks, garlic summer sausage, so much more. Go to GardnersWisconsinCheese.com slash Bob and Tom. They've made it very simple for you. And when you order today and spend $59 or more, you'll receive free bacon oven baked cheese, free cheese curds, and free cold pack shipping. All at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com slash Bob and Tom. That's GardnersWisconsinCheese.com slash Bob and Tom. Check them out. You're really going to enjoy what they have. Thank you very much, Josh. Coming up, Willie G, live from Vegas. Drew Powell, um, not in Hollywood, but actually here in the building with us eventually. And um, this is kind of an interesting headline about um, folks, uh, you might find this surprising, religious folks have more satisfying sex. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're going to find out what's going on there. Oh, God. Probably because it's dirtier. <laughs> it's dirtier, Pat. Dirtier. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. This is the Bob and Tom.
Cause if you're gonna leave me, honey, I will surely miss the way you blow me. Blow me a kiss. Miss me, madame, wallolly bearded clam. Your biscuit, your beavage, I see your cooter cleavage. Your monkey, your muffin, you ain't had nothing. Your coochie, your flapper, you're showing off. with T and day You say you're straight but you're not by How will you know until you try The thought of Nookie makes you sick Just hold your nose and take a lick I wanna be Bob What more can I say I would smoke and drink and play golf every day We wanna be Bob. We wanna be Bob. His name is Richard, but they call him Big Dick. I'm looking for a big dick smoker. It's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. <laughs> That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Oh, I am too. I live for Rupert. I love that guy. I've wanted to be a Survivor contestant ever since the first one. The locations they stay at are so beautiful. Oh yeah, they sure are. Hey, would you ever do Big Brother? Well, actually, I've already done my Big Brother. <laughs> huh? I haven't done my father or my grandpa yet. <laughs> You've slept with your Big Brother Dave? Well, yeah. <laughs> wow. 
Small world. <laughs> I slept with your big brother, Dave. <laughs> what? Yeah, he's cute. This has been Spit Take Theater. Wow. Join us next week for another edition of Spit Take Theater. <laughs> Spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of... Loads of curvy cleavage on display. <laughs> the thrill of victory. <laughs> and the agony of defeat. Don't touch those. Sorry. The human drama of... Loads of curvy cleavage on display. <laughs> this is... The Bob and Tom Show. No shoes, no shirt, no talent. Why do you have to get drunk to be an ass? Why do you have to get tight before you get loose? Why do you need a double before you get into trouble? Can't you get into trouble without an excuse? You want to get up and get out and get free and get crazy. But why do you have to start by getting stoned? Because, Pat, you don't have to get drunk to be an ass. You can be an ass on your own. <laughs> you know you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. So that's how you know you're too high. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. That's awful. Awful entertaining. Essential morning radio. Uh, this is Bob and Tom. Great time being dogs. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Get ready for the Super Bowl. Here's Tom. Thank you very much. We're going to talk with Willie in Vegas. That's right. He's in Vegas. In about 15 today. minutes. We'll certainly look forward to that. Um, I am looking at a stack of papers here. Uh, I've got a notification. Kostaki Economopolis, Hastings, Nebraska, coming up tonight. Is that right? Um, no, no, no. Sorry. That's... that's. Uh, I guess it is tonight. Wow, that's crazy. Um, now... Um, we have uh, Mr. Godwin for sure. That show is tomorrow night, right, Pat? Oh, yeah. And you are in Evansville, Indiana with Mr. Oske. Simplicity Furniture there. Pat Coslett's place. Okay, very good, very good. Um, and also on my stack is uh, a little Tickle Kitty information, including the uh, the 3D Womanizer, which we uh, tried out on the air just the other day. Rather uh, kind of a bold choice to give uh, some, uh, some your, your sweetie that one for Valentine's Day. Something you have to plug in. Well, you might want to check that out. Thank you very much. In the meantime, we return to the news desk. Sitting in for Christy Lee, it's Jess Hooker. A new study suggests that people who go to church are more likely to have a satisfying sex life. Well, that's because they're all lined up with the Lord. Researchers found that strongly religious individuals are typically more content with their bedroom activities than those who are not religious. Hmm. Or who are into casual sex. Gotcha. Oh, um, the team, a team from the University of Exeter adds that there really is some truth in the saying quality over quantity. Hmm. While religious people in the study typically had less sex than others, the sex they are having is leaving them more fulfilled than those engaging, engaging in casual encounters with multiple people. Very nice. Is that because it's dirtier? Uh, you mean religious sex is dirtier? Less. Is that what you think? I'm asking. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't you know. You think the study would say that? Oh. I think maybe it's more fulfilling because they're staying married to the same person and they're yeah. they're learning about each other. Pleasing and, and each other. Yeah, I think that's oh, Screaming good. out, oh God, at the right time. Yeah. Appreciating yes. the blessing that is uh, sexual oh enjoyment. Is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Thankful, being... Yeah. <laughs> Grateful. Mm. Yeah. No, I didn't want you on your knees to pray. You're, you're, you're misunderstanding. <laughs> we'll leave it to you to turn this beautiful story into exactly. something religious. You know, it really was a beautiful story yeah, right. until you tried to nice. over it. Ugh. I think it's nice. Sex in churches, that's fine. Just don't block the aisle. People might be trying to get sure. They're not having sex See, they're not in, in the church. church. Oh, I misunderstood. Sorry. No. <laughs> no. No, they don't have a room designated for godly sex. Well, that reminds me of something. Oh. Mr. Godwin, yesterday you missed this story. Um, it was a business that has a designated room for self-pleasure, which I just thought was such an odd, odd thing to have. And then it was pointed out that a lot of businesses have such a room, but it's... Not official. Oh, Pat missed what happened here. 
that yeah. we the, the discovery. Yeah. Um, do you oh, want to explain? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Pat. We found your uh, <laughs> <laughs> guitar pick. No, no your other capo, the other thing you use. The capo. No. Uh, Pat, the the place is uh, is uh, Erica Lust Films. Uh, she has announced that uh, they have uh, a uh, a special room uh, for their employees. Yeah, the so office cool. The office has its own dedicated space in the form of a small, intimate chapel, which we thought that was a strange That's word. Odd. Yeah. Bad, yeah bad. Although now we find out it's more <laughs> pleasurable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah of course. complete with a bed and a mirror and uh, warm lighting to help get you in the mood as a well mirror. as a screen. You yeah. ever wanted to watch yourself? <laughs> Who I does never, that? Yeah. yeah. Other <laughs> Patrick Bateman. Patrick Bateman, <laughs> yeah. Uh, isn't aren't mirrors on the ceiling? Isn't that a thing for, for some couples, people? For couples, but I don't know oh, about just a master. Individual, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you need a squeegee, Al. <laughs> Lust, it had been a while. <laughs> Lust swears by the masturbation break, saying, "When we feel good, we do good work." I mean, they are. That is also a porn company, so. right? Yeah. So there they're is, just there... going to lean that way. <laughs> yeah, you know, and you yeah. know, there's one dissatisfied employee. Oh, great. Josh gets to go take a masturbation break, but I can't smoke. <laughs> <laughs> there is a room here for that, the masturbation. There is, and we found, uh, so when I was well, putting away some a, supplies in the men's room, we f I've discovered that there was a, what is that called? I don't need a sleeve? Um, yeah, there was a penile. Uh, some kind of receptor. It, it, it looks like four hockey pucks stacked up together. Hole on both ends. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and you can tie it up or loosen and it up. And you pointed out that you, I didn't realize it was in there, mm -hmm. but a, a, there's a cabinet in there. Yeah, there's a drawer in the bottom. And, and apparently you said that you, that was in there with a bunch of lube. You discovered it a year ago, but now the lube's all used up. Yes. The Isn't that I'll replace it. What does that tell you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Is that okay. the problem? A you couple of us did in, insinuate that it may have been yours, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> but then we found out that it was definitely Jeff Oskis. <laughs> well, I have my own performance room, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. The jerkateria. He might be going at it right now. <laughs> right oh, below okay. the organ. Okay. Uh, What's the weirdest place you've ever done that? Self? Myself? Yeah. yeah. Um... Nowhere, well... The first no. thing that comes to mind for me is the shower of a uh, bed and breakfast. This <laughs> <laughs> is another reason why I don't want to stay at a bed and breakfast. Okay, or as I call it, staying at somebody else's house. I yeah. felt I felt squirmy mentioning a hotel in another town. <laughs> yeah, you, was... you, you you trumped me. Yeah. Yeah. They were. Hurry up, I can smell the poached eggs coming. <laughs> Hi! Up to see the groundhog? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I imagine yeah. it being one of those showers or the showers in the bed and breakfast being really small, yeah. like the where your elbows touch on each side. It was... Uh, With a curtain <laughs> instead of a glass door. I, they had a removable shower head, and I didn't realize that those aren't bad for dudes also. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing either. Where do you where do you put the shower head? I focused mostly on the taint. Is that right? <laughs> That's right. Um, could we change this up? <laughs> no, I don't. Think you started this. No, we're uh, just getting to the good stuff. It was rad. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Which setting? All right. I, it was. It wasn't too powerful, but it was enough to know it was there. Yeah. The pulsing. The blender equivalent of puree. Possibly? <laughs> Man, it felt real good. Really, really finished hard. All right. Thank well, you. you uh, yeah. You've always said that. Uh, I, I, I assume that that was also the case during the event. Just a bundle uh, of let's, uh, uh, nerves. On that note, um, <laughs> probably should take a break. I'll remind everybody well, that. Uh, did you the tell them break. you fouled their shower head? No. Went down, ate their breakfast, and left. <laughs> <laughs> like a, like a, a king. Boy, that one guy, uh, boy, he just came down and ate breakfast. He had a faint smile. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Slightly smirk. flushed. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Very helpful. Uh, well, uh, coming up, we're going to talk with Willie G in Vegas. It was helpful. Getting too. ready for the uh, getting ready for the Super Bowl. We have um, an update on that. Uh, the mom who had the gigantic OnlyFans thing on her. Car. Oh, that's right. In her school, where some yeah, a, her child update. school said, "Hey, yeah, mm -hmm. maybe knock that off." And, it was, and it was, we thought it was a bumper sticker. Turns out she, she had one of those. Um, what do they call when they wrap a vehicle? A personalized decal. They can, they can put a. They can they put can a thing on your, your on your yeah. window where you can actually see through it. Yes. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah, their whole back window was an OnlyFans ad. There's been an update. Okay. Uh, we'll find out about that on the way. And there's a cop that sold his pants. Um, this is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show contest rules. Go Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. 
The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. This is one that I wrote, and we'd like to play it on your program. Okay, All right. go ahead, Floyd. Moonlight's enough for me to see All the woman in you Got the wipers on with the heat on your feet You're about to blow my fuse I won't put it in park until it gets dark Cause baby you know the rules I can't get off with the dome light on <laughs> I can't get off With the dome light on <laughs> Shut the door, you stupid whore They're playing our favorite song Ain't no need to fiddle If you can't find my fiddle I can't get off With the dome light on <laughs> can't get off With the dome light on <laughs> I'm kindly old-fashioned when it comes to certain things. Never wore a pair of short pants and always catch up on my onion rings. Some things I can deal with, baby, I don't care if you chew. I even let you take your shoes off But there's one thing I just won't do I can't get home With the dome light on <laughs> Shut the door, you stupid whore They're playing our favorite song Ain't no need to fiddle If you can't find my fiddle I can't get home With the dome light on With the dome light on Yay! I don't oh. believe oh. when you tell me that you're saving up for beauty school. <laughs> and I don't believe a word you say about meeting that motley crew. <laughs> and I don't believe when you tell me that you don't believe I'm a fool. But I do believe if that light stays on, the cops will see what we do. <laughs> I can't get off with the dome light on. Everybody. Shut the doors, you stupid whore, they're playing that favorite song. Ain't no need to fiddle if you can't find my fiddle. I can't get off with the dome light on. Again. We're through playing now. All right. Hey. Hey. <laughs> the space shuttle astronauts are halfway through their seven day research mission. Endeavor is expected to become an orbiting maternity ward today when frog eggs that were fertilized earlier in the mission start to hatch. Now We are scheduled to hook up with uh, Commander Thompson. We should hook up right now, All I right. believe. Hello, Houston. They're speaking with Bob and Tom. Hello, Endeavor. Hello, Spaceship Earth. This is Captain Thompson. <laughs> hey, Captain, how Captain, are you? Captain, how are you? We're doing great. We uh, do a lot of experiments up here. Yeah, we're just reading about the one involving the uh, frog. The South African clawed frogs. The eggs are about to hatch any moment oh, now, aren't very they? very excited. Very, as a matter of fact, I, it looks like they might be hatching about now. Oh, good. You people might be the first ones on Earth to hear what's going on. Well, but, uh, great. This oh, is there a, they come. This is exciting. Some, some little critter coming out of there. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, <laughs> More
morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. No matter how hard I try, can't keep my hands off my face. <laughs> Bob and Tom Radio. Tom Radio. Comedian Dwight Slade. What's bugging you in the world? You mentioned a couple things before. Uh, I'm tired of the roadside memorials. These people were places where people wrecked their cars. They wrecked crosses. You know, it's a nice sentiment, but I don't drive in your graveyard. Don't put your headstones on my freeway. You're bumming me out. Bravo. Couldn't agree more. Uh, and have you ever seen one of these roadside memorials on a curve ever? No. no. Always on a straight Yeah, yeah. straight away going to Nebraska. Well, what the hell happened? <laughs> 3,000 people a day get through here. One guy, ah! <laughs> Maybe it's good he's dead. He could have run into you. You don't know karma. <laughs> people go, well, it reminds people to slow down. It's for safety. That's not safety. You're driving along. What is that, a wreath, a teddy bear? Oh! <laughs> 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 I am so there with you. That is brilliant. brilliant. Uh, and, and my friend always pointed out, he goes, how come Jews don't wreck their cars? Which is, you know, you wonder. <laughs> it's true. These Christians, terrible drivers. <laughs> Jews, oh, no. 10 and 2, going down the road. The median, Adam May has joined us in the studio. I've got a teenage daughter. Don't send girls to school. You cannot send girls to school without the right kind of clothes. Oh. They become outcast amongst their peers. Oh, right. yes. Going to school became a stinking fashion show. Mm -hmm. We're school shopping. My daughter tells me she's going to need new blue jeans. Okay. I go to Walmart. I get her new blue jeans. Well, you think I pooped in her lunch bucket or something. <laughs> <laughs> she wads them up, throws them back at me. She goes, ah, Mother, what are those? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, teenage daughters look like this. Um, yeah, they and, and all teenage girls seem to think the sound <laughs> is a word. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this is Henry Phillips, and you're listening to Bob and Tom. Blatter, thank you. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Jess Hooker at the news desk. Hello. Pat Godwin over there in the performance room. Hey, check. There's Josh Arnold at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. And Malibu Pink now available in Steven Singer Jewelers 24 Karat Gold Roses, the number one gift for Valentine's Day, exclusively and only available at IHateStevenSinger.com. Ace Cosby's over there. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's... Tom Griswold, and I think we're going to check in with Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Wilbur, it's Willie G. Hey, Willie. Hey, guys. Nice singing, Pop. Oh, you're That's welcome. Good. Uh, how's it going in Vegas? It's great. We're having a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> it is, it's, it's so weird. This town is so odd. It's. I, I feel like it's. I just watched a birthday party get set up, and now I have to leave before the party starts. Yeah. But also... I'm so ready to leave Las Vegas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What is? What do we determine? Three days is the max? I think so. Absolutely maximum, yeah. It's, I feel like I'm walking in the past. I feel like I'm walking in a laser tag place from the 80s. It smells like <laughs> cigarettes, everything's shiny. Yeah, yeah, the cigarette thing really blew my mind last time we were there. I couldn't get over the fact that, because you'd forget, that used to be the world. You used to get on a plane and there were people smoking. Not, and now... Uh, Vegas is like the only place. That and the Olympics in France. Uh, I think that'll be <laughs> interesting. Hey, Willie, uh, have you hit a buffet yet? I, we didn't go to a buffet. We were just also, it, I thought there would be signs for buffets everywhere. <laughs> I've only seen one buffet. Hmm. I think maybe next year. I think the higher dollar casinos, I, I don't think they make a big deal out of their buffets like the uh, like slots of fun. Yeah. Or the, and maybe post-COVID as well. They're not, uh, yeah, that's yeah. true. They haven't that's bounced true. back totally. Yeah, yeah, the sneeze shield, the name always. When I said I heard it was called a sneeze shield, I went, <laughs> maybe let's go to a sit-down place. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, good. I'm glad but that's I, here. I, Willie, yeah. I think maybe next year, I, I think maybe Ace and Willie hit Vegas. Oh, yeah. Because Ace loves Vegas. Really? Have you seen the CVS out there? I went to CVS. They, I went to CVS no, and I... No, literally, the last time I was there, it was like every block had one. Oh, yeah. The drugstore? Oh, really? Yes. Well, I've never seen Ace light up like that. I know. That's exciting. Wow. That'd okay. Be a reason to go to Vegas. Go get a toothbrush and... <laughs> <laughs> Some meds. Now, Willie... Ace... Ace, I do miss you, buddy. Everybody here, there's so many Raiders fans. Oh, yeah. And the Raiders, the best player is Max Crosby. And so everywhere I just see Raider jerseys that say Crosby. And I think of you, Ace. I just mm -hmm. miss you. I everywhere thought, I go, I, I thought see of you. Because Crosby, when they played in Detroit on the road, he walked around the stadium wearing a, 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 a Ron Artest jersey. Oh. All oh, right. cool. That's cool. 
Cool, or is he just trying to start something? Yeah. <laughs> He's tough, just man. trying to start you something. You know something? I, I, I've met Ron, and he was a great guy. So I know he they, they were, there were some issues, but... Uh, he didn't punch you. That's true, but I wasn't being a racist prick yelling at him, so... Um, now, uh, Boy, you throw one cup. <laughs> oh, no, you wouldn't be doing that. You're, you're much more of a subtle racist. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, boy. Uh, okay. Oh, come on! Ruined it. Uh, okay. <laughs> now... <laughs> a little bit of a little bit of king, baby. Now, Willie, have you seen yeah. anybody? Have you? Because I, I, I don't know. I, uh, first, I want to find out if you've made any bets. And Chick has made his announcement. We'll tell you what his pick is. But have you seen anybody dressed as Elvis yet? And then my question is: At some point during the Super Bowl, are they going <laughs> to cut to a guy in the fan, in the stands dressed as Elvis? I mean, I, I think it's a given, isn't it? That's that's great. That's a great. I think that's a great prop bet. How many times do we see Elvis on TV? How many Elvises will we see on TV? Will we ever see the elusive double Elvis on TV? Uh, yeah. <laughs> These are all bets that we have. Can have you seen an Elvis? Uh, yeah. I saw three Elvises. I oh. saw one lone Elvis and oh. then uh, one double Elvis. And, fellas, that is a marvelous sight. It's like seeing a bear in the wild. <laughs> you just take, it takes your breath away. Maybe, maybe next time... Uh, if I could go, I could get like an Elvis suit. Oh, please. Yes, with, with of the, course. The high collar. Yes. Get paste a big wig on with those Yo, dumb when, shades with the when you holes go, on the side. When you go to Vegas <laughs> now we have to. for a Super Bowl, you can dress up like Elvis. That's and right. I'll have Ace show us around to all the cool yes, buffets. Yes, and Elvis will uh, And then Ace, Ace will, will take us to the you. CVS. Yes. <laughs> yes. All yeah. of this is going to happen. Okay, now. We can have a Vegas month. You know that. Like a, You can send Oscar and I to the AVNs. There you go. And we'll be there for that. That's and the, then, porno, the porno award. Yeah, watch. and then we'll come back and then uh, Willie and Ace and Whoever and chick, whoever goes out there for the Super Bowl, and yeah. Well, when you go out there, Tom, and dress up like or Ace, either one, I'll have to wear my big pants that day because monkeys will fly <laughs> out of my ass. <laughs> okay. Now, last time we went to Vegas, we went to uh, Brad Garrett's comedy club, and it was great. That's a great little club. It I, is. And, uh, I love that Brad place. Garrett's one of my favorite human beings, and um, what I remember was right across from the entrance to Brad's club, across the hallway. There was this long room full of people with, um, what do you call it, intravenous wires? What's that called? Oh, they were, yeah, they were yeah. having IVs. I, yeah, yeah, hoses with whatever. IVs. A hangover cure. Yeah, it was, it was some kind of ha uh, hangover mm -hmm. medicine. Yeah, yeah. Vitamins. He, yeah, popular, vitamins. Yeah. Is, does that work? He's going to do, he's do. Gonna do everything he can not to say IV. That's okay. Yeah. They I will go IV. into works. Yeah. Yeah, work they places. do. There's a place near here that does it. Yeah, it's called a banana bag they put in you. Yep. All it's the, called a what? All the banana bag. Banana bag. Isn't that a bathing suit? That's a banana hammock. hammock. Okay, sorry. <laughs> well, mine is like a bag. <laughs> now, Willie. <laughs> Willie. Yes. yes. Um, do you want to hear Chick's pick before you make yours? Um, yeah, Chick. What do you got, man? All right, here we go, Willie. I'm getting real specific <laughs> with Super Bowl 58. The Kansas City Chiefs are going to win in overtime 36-30. And Patrick Mahomes will be named the MVP. That's wow. all going to happen. What do we do if that's exactly what happens? I, it I, might be. I, you better get used to. You better think of something <laughs> because <laughs> it's happening, baby. <laughs> and this will be the first, second, second, second time that the uh, Super Bowl ends in an overtime. And there you go, baby. And, and effectively, you're also betting the over. Why is he hung up on that? I don't know. <laughs> because he's a weird guy. I like using the word effectively. Oh, that is good. Because yeah. it's almost never used properly, no, and it's a stupid word. Yeah, most people would say impactfully. Or uh, oh, if I hear that one more time, I'm going to barf. <laughs> what about less and right. fewer? I like the less Those are than good, yeah. or fewer. Or... I'd like you to speak less yes. and, <laughs> make, and make fewer stupid comments. That's how that's, I've heard it. That's, yes. that's the distinction I right there. That. That, I just to <laughs> summarized it for you. Are you elegantly. talking about me? See, this goes on whether you're here or not. Yeah, really. Not much has changed, Will. <laughs> no, not much has changed at all. Do you guys, do you guys ever not, you're not able to go to the, the home for the holidays, so you have to FaceTime into Thanksgiving, and then you FaceTime to see your your family, and they're all just yelling at each other oh, yeah. the whole yeah. time you're on the phone? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's why I'm not there. Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> 
That's exactly what this feels like. I bet. Now, Willie, I, I noticed you wave. I just saw you wave your hand in front of the camera. Do you want to explain what's going on to Jess Hooker? Have you seen this, Jess? No, what'd you do, Will? Hold your fingers up, Willie. Oh, yeah, check these out. I got little pinkies. Oh, that's cute. Now, can you Thank see what you. they it say? Yeah, San Francisco and uh, KC, right? SF, yeah, KC? One says, one says KC, oh, one says 4-9. Oh, and then the rest yeah, of them, no look, big at that, deal. look at that shimmer, that polish on those Beautiful. babies. Beautiful. Go 49s. What a nice yeah. top coat. That <laughs> that's, that's what that's called? Yeah, it is. A top coat? Yeah. It is. I didn't know that. That's yeah. nice to know. Okay, wow, the good. weight of things you are unaware of. <laughs> Oh, hey, listen, yeah, the biggest warehouse God. in the world is stuff I don't know. <laughs> I didn't I didn't realize you. But when I saw that thing with Brad Garrow, the people getting the IVs and everything. Yeah. It was, you know. We could have a truck here in a half hour and give us all. Why? I don't, I, I don't want to no, do No, no, no. Make you, you feel good. There's some a banana stuff. bag for you at about a uh, quarter to uh, six, eight. Yeah, that, that'd be all right They could put you. some fiber in there for you. Know how you like we that? ordered you one called the Kevorkian. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what's this labeled or what's going on. Yeah, okay. Now He's going to try. So, Willie, you have to relax. You can bet while you're there, or you can bet any time. What are your thoughts on uh, Chick McGee saying uh, Casey and the points? The points not even necessary. Yeah, I just like Kansas City money line. I think it's oh. I think it's crazy that Vegas has them as an underdog. I don't think if you've been to three of the last four Super Bowls, I don't. Eat, yeah, I just don't see you as an underdog. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that's fun. I also like. I have some insider info. Here we go on one bet. Really, there's a prop bet. What color will the Gatorade be? Mm. I'm going to say yellow because the hotel market only has yellow Gatorade. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's solid yeah. right there. Mm. <laughs> that is solid. What flavor is that? Uh, original? Yellow? Yeah. Yellow. Lim yellow. Lim oh, okay. Lime. Uh, cit citrus? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not a fan. Sorry. I'm sure it's a citrus? fine product. Uh, okay. Well, thank you very much. So uh, money is on Casey, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Yeah, and uh, Josh, I really do think we have to get you out here. We got to go to the Sphere yesterday. Oh, you did? And yeah, the Sphere is like whatever you thought the future looks like when you were 13, that's who designed the Sphere. Oh, you walk yeah. in, there's a robot that talks to you. There's magical speakers that speak to you in one language if you're in one area and a different language if you're in a different area. That's awesome. But we got to watch this movie, but the movie has this whole message about climate and how we're going to ruin the planet. And we're going to have to go to different planets and the moon. <laughs> I want you to go watch this. You would stand up when the movie was over. <laughs> you would scream. You would go, this is insane. This is insane. We're in a monument to man and technology in this place. This is the movie you show. <laughs> Big picture of Nancy Pelosi naked. Uh, oh. oh, I'd watch that. Okay. Yeah. Right. I've seen some bikini shots of her. There, oh, oh, yeah, oh, a nice fear. Yeah. <laughs> politically, <laughs> politically, she's controversial, but I mean, man, those heavy gnats. That's a guy that appreciates uh, that. Pelosi's doing great. Okay, Willie, uh, great reports from Vegas. Thank you. Look Safe travels. Yeah. Bye, yeah. We'll bye see Wilbur. You. We'll see you soon. Get those bets laid down. Bet the over. Chick told me that. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's nice. See okay, you, Willie. Um, uh, coming up, Drew Powell. Uh, also, uh, Pat, uh, sorry, late minute, la excuse me, last minute request. I, today's National Pizza Day. <gasps> oh. Can you dig, dig up your favorite pizza song for Ace? You tell me your favorite, I'll do it. Okay, I, I will. Give me a number, we'll do so, it. So I will, I will certainly do that. Right now, um, we've been warning you. I don't know how you didn't see it coming. Of course, I'm talking about Valentine's Day. And uh, I would say pretty much today is it. You've got to get this done right now. Pull over. Listen to me carefully. You go to IHateStevenSinger.com. What? Be careful. I don't want someone to say, well, I, you know, I rammed I, into a school bus because I, I was ordering a, right. ordering a pink rose. No, uh, the idea here is uh, you go to Steven Singer at IHateStevenSinger.com. All kinds of jewelry, of course. I recommend those diamond earrings. You can't go wrong with those. Hide them in her peas. Once again, make a nice little filet, maybe a piece of salmon, some nice peas. Oh, look, something shiny in your peas, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are those diamond earrings that look so great on you? That's one way to do it. Or you can get one of those beautiful roses. It's a real roses dipped in 24 karat gold. Are you kidding me? And they're hand painted. Look at the one right over there by Josh. And I know who loves those roses, your mom. Uh, every year, Josh, he gets one for his mom. That's right. Yep. And um, it's, uh, it's a special from Steven Singer exclusively. Don't be fooled by imitators. You go to IHateStevenSinger.com and uh, you'll find those beautiful roses. I think they're about 59 bucks. Get the order in before 2 o'clock today, and it'll be shipped today. You'll have it in that beautiful box with a uh, very nice Valentine's Day card. So you are done. You are set. 
maybe take a uh, pencil or pen and write uh, in your best script, hey, baby, this is for you. I love you. And then you're going to call me and say, thank you, Tom. You saved my ass. That's fine. You saved my ass. <laughs> it's the you saved my ass rose from Stephen Singer. Are you all right? Once again, I'll talk to you. Yeah, I'm listening. Over there. I'll, I'll see, you don't want to be the guy. <laughs> over there. You ever, you, you ever had a guy on Valentine's Day, Jess Hooker? Yeah. Hand you some roses yes. that, that smell like cemetery vomit because you know he just stole them off the lot. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want that. You no. want something nice from Stephen Singer, like one of those cool bracelets that uh, Stephen handed over to Christy Lee with yeah, diamonds and everything. With nice value, too. 250 bucks ish Now, I hate IHateStevenSinger.com. Don't tell him that Tom said anything nice. <laughs> I don't want to trick him. Uh, that's uh, IHateStevenSinger.com. Coming up, we're going to be joined by actor, line, line, Mr. Powell, uh, Drew Powell. It's, we're ready for your close-up, Mr. Powell. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Hey, Bob and We're putting our per diem on the roulette table. If we win, I'm getting my nails done at the nice spa on the resort. But if we lose, I'm finding the cheapest manicure you can find off the strip. I'm feeling real lucky. Here we are at Nails by Night. It's convenient, I have to get my nails done. Afterwards, I'm gonna get a little weed pipe. And after that, I'm gonna buy Italian clothing. Did you get the ticket? Price? No tickets, no. We can't get we can't afford to go to the game. We can just hang out before it. I'm sick of Taylor Swift and the feminization of football. That's why I got this double pinky paint job, quite masculine and perfect for any NFL fan. Italian clothing. It's loose enough around the arms, so you can talk like a this. Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Oh, definitely. Yeah, that gives you the... Oh, yeah. So you can't see the uh, outline. Yeah, uh, now, yeah with Gene the... Jed, it, it definitely gives you the, the J-Lo butt. Yeah, yeah, if that's what you want. Yeah, baby's got back. Yeah, now I, Chick uh, McGee has tried on a pair of these, and Chick is known for having no buttocks. <laughs> How much do you want on video? What do you mean? We want it all, baby. Money shot. Like Just, that? Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what. That's what I like. <laughs> oh yeah. There's no, almost no difference. I mean, right here. This is more what they're looking for. Oh, my God. Chick, come in, Chick. And, okay, uh, Chick has and, the... Yeah. yeah, okay, Chick has them on. And, uh, oh, dear God. Oh, He's no. got a shelf ass. Now, wait a minute. What did you... What you have you, a shelf ass. You, you have a shelf ass. You have a nice ass. How what did you, you do? You look like you... Turn around. Let me see you from the I side. I can't recommend these booty pops enough. <laughs> Let me see the profile. Oh, oh my God! You got a basketball in your ass. Going on. Uh, no, you, that, that is not just the booty. Pop. What did you do? That doesn't. That. What did you put back there? I I, I got attitude back here, Bob. What I got? You got a you got attitude. A, you, I got. You got a shelf ass. Confidence. Is what you've got. I've what did got... you put? What did you put in there besides the booty pops? It's a little little fluffy pillow. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a, if that's the look you're going for, yeah. You know what? All the girls will talk about you at the club. Oh, yeah. Oh, it makes me want to. It makes me want to do a joke that only four of us would get, but we'd never forget the moment. But I can't do it. All right. No, that is a. Okay. Well, that's, you got a big uh, shelf really ass now. <laughs> that is a good. <laughs> it makes you taller. Look at that. It improves your posture. Oh, oh yeah, that's I'm not great. all hunched over. Oh, that's funny. Oh. Oh, it feels uh, like I have a really awful hemorrhoid. Uh, <laughs> well, it looks like a big awful <sighs> hemorrhoid. Okay. Oh, well, I got to get this off. It's yeah, really, I'll, really hot. I'll bet. My, well, you probably weren't supposed to put the extra padding in there. Ass is sweating. Okay. Got this lycra. Christy, is your ass really hot right now? No. Because Christy is also wearing the booty pop panties.
Are you, is it breathing? Are you? But Christy didn't put a pillow inside I'm, of hers. I'm yeah. just. Yeah, that's they look pretty good. I got to tell you, Christy. Do they? Yeah, mm-hmm. they, they look very nice. That's if you're into that sort of thing, warm. you don't I, like a big butt. Not, uh, not that shape. No. Oh. Well, it's not. It doesn't make. I want to. It doesn't make your ass look huge. It just gives you more. Uh, lift. Lift in the back there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks, it's, it looks a little. It's not making your it hips, like hips the butt wider. It's too high. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Let me see one more time. Uh, <laughs> you want to feel it too? To turn just turn to the side. I'll feel it. Oh, let go over it. Oh, feel. Yeah, oh, want it. There you go. Come on. Yeah. Squeeze it. Come on, Tom. Go, oh, there. Tom, go baby. Yeah. Go. And there you go. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll say freaking I don't give a shooby dooby. <laughs> I heard a funny word the other day. Cripes. Cripes? cripes. Some guy said, for cripes sake. Who would that be? Jesus Cripes? <laughs> <laughs> the son of gosh. <laughs> Now, yeah, we've got a couple of uh, heads in here that have a lot of skin on them. One would be mine. The other would belong to Clint Howard, actor. You know, are, are you in every one of your brother Ron Howard's movies? Oh, no. There's been a lot. Actually, um, the one that stopped the streak was, um, oh, Ransom. And then I wasn't in Beautiful Mind, and I wasn't in any of the Da Vinci Code movies. Did that hurt your feelings? Can I say it pisses me off? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> sure. Your honesty is wonderful and refreshing. (laughs) Hey, this is Frank Kelly. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Our special guest is here, Tom. Barely recognize him. Look who it is. Hi, guys. I don't know. (laughs) Check him out. It's like Hoss Cartwright. Hi, guys. Hey, Drew. Good to see you, man. Good to see you guys. What's going on? So, Drew Powell, actor. And um, Drew was... uh, uh, it was on the first episode of this season's Curb Your Enthusiasm. Briefly. Briefly. Yes. Well, episode, episode 5. five. Episode C- 5. Coming That's up episode big. 5, yeah, you're yeah. going to be uh, in serious That's contention. Funny stuff, yeah. I play uh, Tracy Ullman's character's uh, AA sponsor. <laughs> and okay. Wow. So it's me and Tracy and Larry David uh, and no script. So uh, that was a Pressure. fun pressure-filled day. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. But it's great. It's do, they, great. do they tell you that you had some good lines or... Yeah, and they would feed you some stuff that they wanted you to say, but it was, you know, but those two were just, I mean, especially Tracy. Tracy would say stuff that it was impossible not to laugh, and so I would I would blow the take. <laughs> so, so yeah, it was, uh, it's, it's, it's a fun show, man. It's, and this is, really is the last season, I think, so, so I was glad I snuck in. Now, you are uh, also, I know, uh, filming uh, the story of the Menendez brothers and the yes. brutal murder of their parents. Yes, yeah, they just I actually just yesterday released it on Deadline, so I can finally talk about it. But uh, yeah, Ryan Murphy, uh, who did who you Glee. Know from Glee and American Horror Story, um, and uh, he he has all these different kind of uh, genres of of stuff that he does, and one of them is this this series Monster, and the first one was about Dahmer, and this one is about the the Menendez brothers. And you portray. And I play uh, one of the detectives in the Beverly Hills Police Department that was investigating the murders. Um, you f- I forgot how crazy the story is. It is. Like, you know, that these boys, like, you know, did yeah. the thing and then went out and had just like... A- do you remember, do you remember Sports Guy when the, there's a, a, a Mark Jackson basketball yep. Yep. card oh, that had the Menendez brothers sitting on the floor, sitting on yeah. the floor next to them? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. anyway. On but- the actual be- uh, basketball card, yeah. It's yeah, Mark the- Jackson in action and in the background, it's Lyle and Eric there courtside. They are. I used to call my kids Lyle and Eric whenever they were misbehaving, <laughs> yeah. just for fun. Oh, yeah. 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 That won't damage him at all. No, no that'll be fine. fine. Oh. That'll now, be fine. The, so the guy that you're playing, do you look like the real guy? Uh, you know, it's actually I don't know. <laughs> it's really hard to find a picture of the guy. Okay. Um, but uh, do but they? Yeah. And they? Because your hair's kind of long right now. Yeah, hair's lo- well, yeah, hair is long. I was my strike hair that then got cut a little shorter, but then the beard. I had that beard for th- for three years. So how would your wife feel about the transformation? Uh, I think she was like, "Get rid of that beard!" Like, "No, no, no! Put it back! Put it back!" <laughs> <laughs> 
um, but it, there's a, I, uh, I had a mustache uh, two years ago when I did this movie that's coming out uh, on the 23rd called Ordinary Angels. Oh, you were, a, you were a pastor. I was, right? I was a pastor. I looked yeah. just like my dad. If, if my dad was enlarged with an enlarging ray, because uh, he's 5'7", <laughs> and I'm huge. And uh, But yeah, it's kind of a Ned Flanders slash you know, Reverend Jim Powell look. That's how this, this movie's coming out when? February 23rd. Theaters everywhere. It looks wonderful. I saw a trailer for it in the theater, yeah. and uh, it looks oh, really nice. terrific. It's yeah. really terrific, and it's a true story. You know when you're watching the news, and you're like, oh, they should make a movie out of that. Well, they finally did. So what's the, <laughs> what is the story? And it's about a, a family. Mom dies of cancer. A uh, little girl needs a liver transplant. She's, you know, six years old or whatever. This woman that doesn't know him hears about the story in the news, helps them to erase all of their debt. They had hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt, in, and, and the, the dad was like a, a roofer, I think. And, and then so they she helps them with that. But then also when you are on the transplant list, you have to get like a private plane because you have to be able to get to Omaha. They had to be able to get to Omaha in, in, you know, right. in a certain amount wow. of time. So she gets all that done, multiple planes on standby, and then they get, this is true, they get the uh, the call that you know, we've got the liver, and it's the biggest in the middle of the biggest blizzard to this day in Louisville history, 1998. Wow! And so they have to they the the city comes together. They the the, the I play the minister of the church that they went to, and they um, I call the flock in, and they we we shovel out the all right the, yeah the parking lot. A helicopter lands, takes them to Evansville mm. to the airport, and she gets there with like 30 minutes to spare. Great people doing great I've things. I've got goosebumps. Yeah. yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it is. It's like bring a box of tissues. It's uh, Hillary Swank does a great job alan richson is in it who's in jack reacher if you've seen that show oh yeah um, he's great and he's he does a great job and, and just it. as they're bringing the organ in it falls on the floor <laughs> <laughs> you know that they, they did a sequel and you just, hear wah, 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 wah. they did a sequel just to jack reacher oh yeah it's called to jack reacher round two <laughs> <laughs> how did you shoehorn around in there i don't think <laughs> I don't think that was... I got, that genuinely made me laugh. That's a, that's a re, it's a reach-around joke. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. I, yeah. I'll be in Vegas next week. Our, our guest is uh, Drew Powell, actor. And uh, Drew, interestingly enough, um, uh, looks a lot like Haas Cartwright. And that, I mean, and you portrayed... Yeah, you know that that noted handsome fella. I know he's got a buy Dan Blocker. I know. What go, the, the thing is, is when you go, he looks a lot like... Hoss Cartwright. How many people do you think no, listening go, yeah. oh, I see. Uh, I, <laughs> I get it. You, you always take the, the it, most obscure reference. <laughs> no, wasn't like Bonanza, it. Bonanza was like the most watched show in television. Was. 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 <laughs> 70 years ago. First show in color. First show ever in color. See? Yeah. First show in color. First show in color. <laughs> you have to stop. Well, I was, see, I'm getting somewhere with this. This is I, very important. I doubt it. Am I correct in saying, while you were portraying... Um, Mr. Carr, right? Yes. Michael Landon peed on your head. <laughs> you, you, you met your wife. You met your wife. Is this that is true? See? This is true. I was Tom. going somewhere with that. Yeah. That's well, 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 well played, Tom. See? No, I did. No, she was no, makeup don't artist. Tell him that. He's lying. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> so the, the movie is once again called? Uh, the movie is called Ordinary Angels. Yeah, and it's... Oh, uh, no, that's about everywhere. the Menendez brothers. That's about right? the Menendez. <laughs> Wait a minute. And Larry David is in it. Yeah, it's going to be great. Right. Now, so, the, now the, okay, let's separate things here. So, yeah. the, the one about the Menendez brothers, is that a TV... That's Netflix, and that'll be... I think the premiere for that is this fall. So, we're shooting it now. Uh, it stars Javier Bardem, Chloe Sevigny, uh, uh, Nathan Lane... Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's, th and boy, they're sparing no expense. You should see these, you know, it's a totally 80s. Like, you step back into the 80s. Right. Even the cars, the clothes, the whole thing. And uh, so that'll be in the fall. Ordinary Angels, February 23rd at a theater near you. And, um, yeah. And then Curb uh, is on every week on HBO. All right. All right. So All right. Now, we're going to take a, a break for just a moment to talk to Mr. Godwin. Huh? Uh, yeah, remember, it's National <laughs> Pizza Day. <laughs> what the? I told you, I warned you about this 10 I'm minutes joking. ago. joking. I said it's National Pizza Day. And, we uh, did 30 songs for Ace. You pick a number, we'll do that song. You're kidding me. No, go ahead. So Se instead, instead of getting pizza for Ace. 17. <laughs> instead of getting pizza for Ace, it's, he gets a song. Well, no, you know, let me back this up by saying. I had one this morning. During the, oh, during okay. the month of whatever it was, I bought Ace, a, a, every meal Ace, a, Ace ate pizza. I don't think you did nice. buy every. If you talked to Ace, I don't think yes, you came I did. through with uh, he did. everything. He, he was he, reimbursed for every pizza. He contributed. Uh, he he contributed. contributed. I contributed all of it. I know. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I'm just getting Express. this information from Ace. Okay. Now, uh, so why don't we let Drew pick a number between 1 and 30? Yeah. Go ahead, Drew. 27. Oh, 27. Lucky John, 27. John Denver. 
Well, life's kind of fun at the pizza place. Three times a day I deliver to Ace. In about 30 minutes, he's stuffing his face. Thank God I'm a pizza boy. Hey, he's a pizza boy. Hey. <laughs> Ace likes pizza with extra cheese. He got the pepperoni down to his knees. Ooh. Oh, I but see. he might lose a leg to <laughs> diabetes. <laughs> Thank God I'm a pizza boy. <laughs> well, I got me some gas. I got me a car. Yeah. I'll get to your house if it ain't too far. Ace drops nothing in my tip jar. Yeah. Thank God I'm a pizza boy. Yeehaw. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, that, that pepperoni joke passed me by the first time you played that. <laughs> now I get it. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, let's get back to movie making with Drew Powell. You just Sounds took like a piece fun. of my heart, Pat. So, oh, when, when you do... When that you, was number two? Like, when you go on, uh, like, you're on the, the set or wherever you are with, yeah. uh, with Larry David, do they have to have, like, three sets of wardrobes for you in case something goes wrong? <laughs> in case I sweat through them? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, it's... Yeah, they definitely... Uh, they have uh, have to have backups, no question. I mean, it depends on, on if there's fake blood or if it's really hot, because <laughs> I will sweat through it. But, uh, but yeah, that's the thing about these uh, the period shows. Like, all the stuff that I have is 80s, so it's got that, you know, that 80s look. Do you get to drive a cool 80s car? Uh, no, I, but I get to drive one of those uh, 80s cop cars that you saw in all those movies. Oh, you know, yeah. That's what I meant. That's Impala. It's pretty cool, yeah. But yeah. the, uh, the you know the other guy in the scene had to, got to drive a Ferrari, so mm. tomato tomato. Was he no. the guy playing one of the Menendez brothers? Uh, no, the Menen one of the Men Menendez brothers drove a, an Escort GT. You remember that car, the that Ford a, Escort GT? It was a popular car. It was, wow. yeah. Um, All that money, and he I know. <laughs> didn't get well, something cool. <laughs> now I know why he killed his dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, at least he had a good reason. Hey, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> BMW will spare you. Yeah, right. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Loosen the purse strings, you might still be living, Pop. That's right. <laughs> now, um, in order to defend myself. Yeah, uh, he's going to talk to you about his favorite cop show, which is Car 54, Where Are You, from the earliest of 60s. I love that show. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> love Dragnet. Dragnet. Just Jersey the facts, Dragnet. Just the facts, man. Jack Webb. No? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I saw the uh, remake with uh, Dan Aykroyd. And yeah. Yeah, it didn't do Rose justice to the original. Yeah. Now, I, I mentioned that you <laughs> portrayed Hoss Cartwright. I believe we have a photograph. <laughs> oh, there's a handsome devil. I, Look at that. You guys, that is that is my guy. Like, that is right up my alley. <laughs> that is, that's what I'm into. But does, I think he's a doll. But doesn't oh, Drew look just like yes, No, he does. he doesn't look just like me. No. But Tom, get out of here. But you are just as cute, and that, I, I, I you, love darling. it. Yes. That, that, fla you. that flavor. Yeah, I like the flavor. That's, that, that is my flavor. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Did I ever tell you the story about that audition? No. I, I walk into the room, and I look around the room, and it's a bunch of 12-year-old chubby kids <laughs> with their moms. And no joke. And, like, in their little hats and their little vests, I'm like, oh, I'm, like, 22 <laughs> at the time. 23 and I'm like ah I'm I'm leaving so I get up and I as soon as I this true true story as soon as I hit the door the casting director is this uh, Jackie Birch she's like like you know the like the agent from Joey's agent from Friends. oh yeah <laughs> wait stop like, come back here and then they take me back and they're staring at me like I'm a specimen they're like well maybe if we put Vaseline on his face because like, <laughs> Haas was supposed to be 17 and so. <laughs> So, yeah, or 15, no, 17. And so, anyway, the long story short is they changed the age and made it. But, I, yeah, I almost walked out of that. Wow. Office. And then I never would have met my wife. And then it's sliding doors and it's a whole Aww. thing. Yeah. And then yeah. What, what was the name of that movie? Uh, yeah, that was a series, Ponderosa. That was the that was the I thing. have not seen that. Yeah. Is uh, it, is it can, floating around in the ether? You right can now? get half of the episodes on DVD, <laughs> like on Amazon, I think. And listen, it, it was, God bless them, it was done by the woman that did Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, so it's oh. much more like Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman than <laughs> Bonanza. That show so, was a hit. It was a hit, Huge. but it's like, you know, there was an episode like, Adam, you shouldn't have a handgun on your 21st birthday. You don't need a, sure. you don't need a handgun. You just need a rifle. Because, <laughs> you know. Did, did, um... Uh, the other players look as much like the original Bonanza cast? As uh, Lauren Green was played by Danny Kelly, Daniel Hugh Kelly. You might remember him from Starsky and Hutch back oh, yeah. in the day. Daniel Hugh. Not Starsky and Hutch. No, the other one. What's the other one? Something and uh, something. Was he in uh, Ryan's uh, Hardcastle Hope? Hardcastle McCormick. Okay. Was yeah. he in and he Ryan's was in Ryan's Hope? Hope. Yes, yeah. he was. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Everybody under 30 just turned the radio off. Okay, right? sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, once again, Curb, episode five. Yep.
Episode five, uh, one and five. And Have you that, seen it yet? Uh, I haven't, but I heard it was good. The, the showrunner said it was a really good And episode. you don't know how much you're on screen? Because then the first one, it was minimal. Yeah, the first one is a flashback to that. Oh. But, uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a funny storyline. Yeah, I don't want to give it away. But. And, you, of course, if you're a career, have you ever, like, gone to a premiere all psyched up and the movie rolls and you're in it for 10 seconds and it's like the back of your head? Thank God, no. Uh, oh, no, that's not true. It wasn't that big. In CSI, I was uh, in an ep- early in my career, I did an episode of CSI, and the whole thing is either the back of my head as we're walking or you see a, a, a little piece of my face through the, the cell window. And I was like, I learned early. It's like, okay, you got to get your face in that screen, in that camera, whatever you got to do. So I, I learned valuable. And you just did what? That. Chicago. Uh, Chicago Med. Yeah. Is that aired? Season premiere. Yep. Yeah. Season premiere was. He played uh, a uh, bipolar guy off yeah. his meds. Yes. Yes. Well, that'd be fun. Yeah. Did you, get, did you get to hit anybody? Uh, no, but I did the classic, like rip the, the IV yeah. out of my arm, nice. and the blood spurting. Yeah. And, oh, nice. Yeah. How'd they do that? Um, they really very did carefully. It. <laughs> no joke. It was like a little balloon of blood, and like be very careful. Mm-hmm. And then you got to like kind of push and grab, and then the thing, and yeah, it, did didn't, go, it didn't go as well as it should have. Did you do it just once? Yeah, a couple, yeah, twice. I think we got we got two in. The first one it didn't really pop. Have you watched? I haven't seen the. Have you watched it? Yeah, yeah. Now when you do that, do you, do you, uh, you know, like gather the family around and daddy's on TV? They are so nonplussed by that. Like, <laughs> my, daddy's my, on my, TV. Uh, you're gonna sit here and watch this. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I mean, my 13 year old is like, okay, dad, whatever. Yeah, I mean, he's very supportive. Bless his heart, but he's like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'll be back playing uh, Madden if you need me. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's nice. You know, he's. I don't know if I should say that because he's probably listening. But he's a little actor, and I don't need to tell you that, right? I mean, he's got that look. He's a sweetheart, man. I think he's smart enough not to do it. Oh, okay. (laughs) And his mother uh, is is British enough to. He's got a little bit of that in there, but. Gotcha. But he is. uh, Yeah. He's he's He's, good. He's something. We'll groom him. We'll groom him up to take your place when you finally. When you finally. All right. Yeah. Have you? Have you? He's a sports guy. You're going to be in the Menendez series. Yep, uh, monsters. It's called Monsters, the Menendez mm-hmm. brothers. That's right. And how much? How much more do you have to film? Uh, we, they, they. Uh, I don't know. This, the series, the filming is going to go until June sometime. Mm. So it's a, like a nine parter. So wow. I, I don't know. I'm in. I'm in a bit more of that, and I'm not sure when. It's kind of haphazard. Do you? Do, do you mostly? Get, I just want it to be over so I can grow my beard back. <laughs> <laughs> do you get to confront the Menendez brothers? Uh, oh yeah, I'm, we we the first day of shooting was the scene where they shoot them and then they come out of the house and they're freaking out and they're doing the hysterics and oh. so that was a pretty intense uh, oh, yeah. evening. Yeah. Do you get to arrest them? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean your character, the character. Yeah, they they get arrested uh, later on, um, separately. I think it's the whole story. Doesn't one of them wild. wear? Doesn't one of them have to wear a toupee? But yes. Yeah. Not anymore. Now he's bald in prison. Yeah. I'll bet he's getting mauled in prison. <laughs> oh, that's, that's why, he, uh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to softball you that one. That's why you don't want to go there. Didn't he marry his defense attorney or something? Oh, there's something like that. Yeah, I think, I think so. There's that's, so many stories with this. That's thing. creepy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, we're hanging out with uh, actor Drew Powell. Be uh, watching him on Curb. And, uh, Ordinary Angels, Ordinary February Angels. 23rd. It's okay. great. I'm, take, I'm take looking forward family. to seeing it, yeah. It's really great. A sweet story. Oh, right now, I want to talk about... Uh, the sweet life of getting a great night's sleep from our friends at the Sleep Number Bed. Sweet, sweet sleep. Ah, uh, I've had my. I just. I've. I've had my either eighteen or nineteen years. I've had my Sleep Number Bed. The Sleep Number people have created the Smart Bed, and um, they have perfected adjustable firmness. It's a kind of a simple idea that they have executed perfectly. And how does it work? Either side of the bed has its own sleep number smart bed setting. Your sleep number setting is a number between uh, like 5 and 100. And uh, how does it work? Well, uh, 100 is the firmest. And then you go down the scale and it gets less firm. I know Christy Lee, for example, is a 35. Her husband is a 100. So they have separate settings. And by the way, you can adjust that setting at any time if things should change. That's the beauty of the sleep number bed. It's like having 40 beds in one. You don't want to go to the store, pick out a bed. They bring it home and you go, well... This feels like a stone. I made a mistake. Nope. At the touch of a button, you've got the uh, firmness level you want. Don't believe me? Check out J.D. Power. JDPower.com slash awards. They have awarded the Sleep Number Smart Bed number one in customer satisfaction with mattresses purchased in store. What a better recommendation could you get? You want to be real smart? It's not just the bed that's smart. You can be smart if you act right now 
because it's the President's Day sale. Save a staggering 50% on the Sleep Number Limited Edition Smart Bed. Special financing is available, but this is for a limited time. I'm warning you. Well, this is something you want to do this weekend. Get it done. Once again, check out jdpower.com slash awards for all the info about how much people love the Sleep Number Bed. You'll love yours, too. The only place to find one is at a Sleep Number store. Sleepnumber.com slash BT show for all that. The store has all the details on the special financing. We're coming right back. We've got some history for you, et cetera, et cetera. This is the Bob and Tom Show. But I was just talking about things that are disappearing. Like the, the sound of a typewriter is going away. I get it. I mean, I understand all this stuff. But like that, that little ding when you pull in the gas station. If you're under a certain age, you have no idea what we're talking about. Right. How true. Um, just things. Remember when they used to give you all kinds of things when you got gasoline, like glasses? That's what Bill was talking about. Yeah, yeah. incredible stuff. Even, yeah, even albums and stuff like that. I mean, it, it, I guess yeah. I guess if you went to school at a certain age, you wouldn't remember what uh, albums were or certain things. I mean, I, I saw a list of those things the other day with people that have. They're all disappearing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. customer service. Yeah, <laughs> totally <laughs> gone. Exactly. You know, look, customer service now is. Everybody can understand, but nobody can help you. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I understand, sir. Yes, I, I, I know. There's nothing we can do. That's mm -hmm. just how. I was on a plane, and they had the intercom turned all the way up to, like, 10, and it's right above me, like, blowing yeah. out uh, my eardrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I asked the stewards, I go, is there, any, is there any way you can turn it down? She's like, no, nah, I'm sorry. There's, there's, not, there's nothing we can do. It's like, really? <laughs> they installed an intercom at, at 10 without a volume? There's no yeah. volume. They're going to listen to it, and they're going to deal with it. That's how uh, we're doing it on this that's, airline. That's yeah. right. And I hate flying. Uh. I hate flying like Nigerians hate spam filters. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 There's a... Once again, Bo Burnham is our guest, and he uh, has a uh, little tour going. We'll give you some of those dates in a second. Go ahead, Bo. Every time I go to dinner, seems like I'm getting a little bit thinner. I'll sit down at the breakfast table. I can talk while they're not able. When I look at them, I find there's a single question on their mind. I wish I could go back to the way it was. It's not easy now because yeah. my whole family thinks I'm gay. I guess it's always been that way. Or well, maybe it's because of the way that I walk makes them think I like boys. Oh my. <laughs> the goddamn question just won't go away. And I get asked every single day, but the way they ask it is uh, not a disguise. Like, uh, how was your day? Do you like to kiss guys? <laughs> it's the worst, baby. This was my fear. Now their opinions are crystal clear because my whole family now is shocked. I'm in the closet and the door is locked. Well, now my glory days are gone. I was John Elway, now I'm Elton John. Well, my whole family now suspects that watching SpongeBob had signed effects i'm not gay and that's what i said if i'm gay hey god strike me dead <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke <laughs> just because i'm afraid of the snow or my favorite color is the rainbow <laughs> i'm just joking uh -oh. this is the worst baby this is my fear now their opinions are crystal clear yeah because even my boyfriend thinks I'm gay. I'm just... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You all probably think I'm gay. Man, this song is counterproductive. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> because my whole family thinks I'm gay. I said, what did they know anyway? You gotta look right through the haze. Easy bake oven was just a phase. And my whole family thinks I'm queer. That is all I ever hear. But I've been as straight as a ramp. If you don't count Bible camp, <laughs> Bible camp. <laughs> I'm not gay, I swear. Kind of. Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> Burnham. 
Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven baked cheese. It arrives pre baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Eight, we have a comment. Line eight. Morning, Bob and Tom show. Hey, this is uh, Scoop in Cape Coral, Florida. Hi, Scoop. Scoop. How are you, sir? I'm all right. How are you? Great. What do you uh, say after sex? Or, or what do you hear? Uh, <laughs> well, I usually hear silence, but I always tell my wife thank you. But usually that's because it's been so damn long since I got any that I'm like a kid getting that first piece of candy. I know. I, know. I hear you, brother. <laughs> tell it, brother. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you need a safe house? Do you need anywhere to go? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. All right. Well, thank so, you. So she, so you say thank you to her. Yeah. And she doesn't say you're welcome or the whole thing. Well, no, seems... I usually leave her with that starry-eyed look on her face. Ah, the starry-eyed look. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, no, she's bright. <laughs> <laughs> see, see there. There you go. Christy's Christie's uh, mocking you. Oh no, there's no such thing as the starry-eyed look. I see. Uh -huh. Well, thank you, sir. Right, thank you Scoop. for being brave. Uh, bye bye. Thank just speaking you. to us. Essential morning radio all day and all night. Yeah, this is Bob and Tom. I'll see him. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Tom, we have a special guest. Where? Uh, it's Drew Powell. Go right over there. Oh, that's there a, he is. That is a nice head of hair. In that oh, way. yeah. Uh, you always <laughs> notice the notice the hair. You like the hair. Well, I, it's, uh, it's just it's it's uh, accented, if you will. Yes. Uh, is that a word, Jeff? By the uh, lack of a beard. I'm so used to seeing him with the beard. <laughs> and uh, now it's gone. I miss it. Now, Drew is going to be on uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm, Episode 5, coming up. And uh, the movie... Ordinary Angels. Coming out. February 23rd. Theater near you. That's great. Sounds yeah. like a really good movie, too. And it's got you, know, you Hillary Swank. Alan Richson, uh, Nancy Travis. Nancy Travis has been in that seat. Is that right? Yeah. I can feel her. She's mm. so nice. She's been in here That's twice sweet. of all. Yeah. She's so nice. You know, I, I, this happens all the time where I'll run into people that have been on the show and, and you know, t we, ha we, we have the Bob and Tom connection. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. It happens all the time. Now, a couple quick items. Uh, I've got to correct myself. Uh, Kostaki Economopolis, Saturday night. Uh, at, at Hastings Auditorium in Hastings, Nebraska. That's tomorrow night. That would be tomorrow night. I think I might have said that wrong earlier. Tonight, however, Crackpots in Maslin, Ohio, is the Haywood Bank Show. Huh. Um, the tickets at Haywood yeah, Bank. Toast. Yeah, toast! Yeah. That's him. And then uh, tomorrow night, it's Mr. Godwin, Mr. Oske, at Pat Coslett's Evansville. Huge crowd, I understand. Tickets flying out the door. So check that out and uh, go see the boys. It'll be a great show tomorrow night. Uh, but now... It's time to uh, educate the public. That's right. Time for today in history. Okay, what day is it? Sorry. <laughs> February, February 9. Okay. February 9. 9. Okay. Number 9. nine, nine. Well, nine. you oh. know the big, uh, the big uh, occasion. 
the, the big occasion is the Beatles. Yeah, you were talking about it earlier. We uh, couldn't get you to stop talking. The uh, <laughs> first appearance on the Ed Sullivan Show, a I pivotal believe, moment in the history of music. I believe Josh yelled, boring. Uh, okay. Oh, I may have, yeah. That sounds like that. It uh, was amazing. It's a great I just, time. You know, uh, Jim Mercy has the uh, drums from that show, yeah. Ringo's drums. Amazing. He had them on display in L.A. I got to see him. I wonder who's going to get those. Cool. Uh, now, um, <laughs> we're going to start with birthdays. We'll start with William Henry Harrison. Now, you know, an interesting fact about William Henry Harrison. Uh, his middle name was Henry. Uh, no. Uh, He's from Indiana. Longest inaugural address ever. Yeesh. And then he died a week later. And right? the shortest presidency. I think he died about a month later, yeah. I'm uh, pretty sure it was a week. So, uh, how no, this how is, long was the, it? The lesson here is... Like two hours, I think. The lesson long. here, Drew, is... Jeez. Brevity. Brevity is the soul of wit. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, happy birthday, the great Joe Pesci. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I saw Joe Pesci last week no at, at a golf course smoking a cigar inside. Yep. First one to hit the plane gets 100 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. I can't believe it. He's running out again. You think I'm funny? <laughs> funny like a clown? Yeah. Uh, happy birthday, uh, Saquon Barkley. Quan Barkley. Uh, Saquon, by the way, spelled in the traditional way. Quan. <laughs> <laughs> He's got sack right there in his name. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'd be yes, he does. Defense. He's kind of a bad man. Uh, let's see. Quads. Oh, here we go. This is important. Uh, events. Time. Josh, you'll like this one. All right. 1942, daylight savings time instituted. No kidding. In the United States. Of I thought it was much 42? later than that. Yeah. By the well, way. And it took years to get it passed, uh, Jessica, because a lot of the people in Congress tried to clock block it. Boo. <laughs> You got the hay <laughs> <laughs> Are you into daylight savings? I hate it. I think it's the stupidest thing. And I grew up without it. Yeah. In Indiana, uh, we yeah. didn't have it for no. so long, and I think it's so dumb. I thought it was so, the, so uh, dumb. I thought it came in in the 60s. I had no, I, I had no uh, idea. 1942. Do you I, like it? I have daylight checking. I don't have daylight savings. Oh, yeah. Uh, hey oh, yeah. Okay, Sorry, hello. Sorry. That's too many. Nah. Nah. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, nine, uh, uh, 1995 River Dance opened in D Dublin, Ireland. You, you familiar with that, Michael Flatley? I am oh. indeed, of course. Yeah, that's the one where it looks like they've got um, Lord they're, of the Dance. They're not moving from the waist up. Yeah, right. It's really weird. Yeah, they, they ever seen this? They dance yeah. just from the waist down. It's like let's so say you strange. don't spill your drink. <laughs> Hold up. their hand. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you dance like that, Pat? No, oh, not can't. at all. No, that's okay. I thought you were Irish. I can't dance like that, though. Huh. He'd hurt okay. his back. I can oh, play yeah. guitar, tell jokes, have a drink. Okay. <laughs> uh, in that order. Kiss your wife, kiss, have some chat. Now, I, we gotta, when we review today in history, we, oh, we have to review today on the show, we have to once again review Chick McGee's incredible sports pick. That's right. That's right. The Kansas City Chiefs are going to win Super Bowl 58 by a score of 36-30 in overtime. Overtime. Uh, Drew Powell, you have an Dang. opportunity to pick here. And, uh, and Patrick Mahomes is going to be the... The MVP. Bet all that you're a happy, happy guy. It's a good bet. Game. Yep. I, I read a thing where the guy that, that picked wrong in the last 16 consecutive Super Bowls picked Kansas City. I so saw that. I'm going uh, so 49ers. He's, so he's due. So he's due. <laughs> okay. he's due. Yeah. Uh, Listen, about. we got to come up with some if if they win and if it's in overtime. I don't care about the score. If, it, if they win in overtime, we got to, like, put your face on a plaque somewhere. Uh, I like the sound of this. Yeah. How about, yeah. A, how about yeah. a statue out? A statue the, out front. Parking, uh, the front lawn of the park. That would yeah. be yeah. hilarious. Yes. Absolutely. And our founder at the bottom. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I tell you what, I can. Uh, we'll commission we one of Tom's daughters to do it. Yes. They can. They can use their clay at home. <laughs> or, 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 or a great idea. Or through the magic of um, <laughs> computer technology, we could take Michelangelo's David mm. and uh, put uh, Chick. Uh, chick's head on it, mm. and then maybe or perhaps the thinker. I think that might be better, but on a toilet. Oh, oh yeah, the thinker yeah. looking at a cell. We phone. already have a bobblehead of him on a toilet. I have a bobblehead oh. of me sitting on the toilet. I want that yeah. for my my well, bedroom. You can absolutely Classy. have it. I'm sure your <laughs> yeah. I'm sure your wife will be <laughs> will be hastening to the dumpster. <laughs> Time now for things we learned. Brought to you by Hyundai, the all new Hyundai 2024 Santa Fe, equipped for adventure with capable features like available H track, all wheel drive, and standard. Third row seating. Pat Godwin back today. He felt all achy yesterday. Oh, so he's much better today. 
Uh, Jess Hooker wraps up her uh, the couple of days at the news desk. Yep, all yep. done. Thank you, Jess. You did a fine job. Thank Correct. you, Christy's at a retreat for couples. Hopefully, we'll get those two kids mm -hmm. back together. <laughs> yeah. Stop fighting. Uh, Brock Purdy looks a lot like Lee Harvey Oswald. And there's some poor female tennis player that he also looks a lot like. It's gone <laughs> wild on, uh, on social media. Uh, spiders in France eat French flies. Hello. And Josh is not a fan of nuts in his brownies. He says nuts to nuts and brownies. Yeah, I give agree. Me the brownie. He hates it. And uh, Tom is now very excited about the 2024 Olympics because of pieces of the Eiffel Tower in each and every medal. He can't. He's beside himself. <laughs> yeah, it's, such a, it's a beautiful artistic there notion there that they're is. executing. I think it's fantastic. There it is. It's fun. I, I will agree with you. This wasted part nothing. of the Eiffel Tower in your metal. That is amazing. How do they get the parts? They chip it away. Well, they have well, to be very, very well, careful. They, how they, chip. they took some of the key structural beams at the bottom. Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> it's only a matter of time. And then, it, then it collapsed. So it's up it's, on blocks right now. Now it's right? the Leaning yeah. Tower of Eiffel. Uh, <laughs> this is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to say send us an email bob and tom at bob and tom .com. this is the bob and tom show